Hey, guys, before we start the show, I just want to tell you our live show has moved into the main room at the Stan Comedy Club. Monday nights, 8 p.m., big guests, big laughs, big food, the big, big room. Guys. Big room. It's huge. It's really a big deal. We've been here for a long, long time, and uh, we love the stand. They're great partners, and we've been selling it out for so long that they decided to move us into the main room. That means we need you guys to come and pack it out every single week, so make sure you get those tickets at thestandnyc.com. We promise you that we're going to keep on growing the show and bringing you big laughs you from the big room at the stand. You have to be there live to get the live experience now. So get tickets at thestandnyc.com and be a part of the live taping every Monday night at 8 p.m. All right, let's start the show. You're listening to the Cash Digital Network. Did you hear that bomb blast? Get the shot glass. Listen to the vibe. Heavy solid for your bombs. Big J kill him some life. OJ Simpson in the quick. He's the thing of this blood, don't fear him. Break weak by that big dick, can't spit. He all up in your grid while he talking politics. So get bit when you battle by that Puerto Rican snake. Big natural porn killers, leads in the skates. <laughs> That's good energy. That's good energy. That was very nice. What's up, everybody? It is the Legion of Skanks podcast. We're coming to you from the stand, Comedy Club. Uh, The Skanks are all here, everybody. Uh, I am son of Terry, MILF Madness champion, 2020. Big Jay Okerson. People are upset from what I've heard. No, no way, dude. Alex told me the comments are, it's a mutiny. Well, I don't give a shit. No, they call this mom a mutant. Don't you dare. She won, dude. Should you face mutant? Lewis, your gross mom got knocked out <laughs> round two. Well, she was she passed out on heroin. <laughs> she didn't get knocked out as much she as she got, passed yeah, out she of it. She conked out of it on her own. Um, this gang's all here, everybody. Of course, that's Davey Smith to my right. What's up? <laughs> Thank you. Finally, we're back downstairs where we belong. Hell yeah. Every five years, we will go one level lower. <laughs> <laughs> Until we're at the Earth's core, where Until everything's we're chi- legal. We're in China. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know that voice, everybody. It is the reigning defending Ellis Mania champion, the April Fool. It is the birthday boy, the Puerto Rican rattlesnake, Louis J. B day, go man. We're in the fucking main room at the stand, motherfuckers. Let's go. How exciting is this? You are saying it like it's the Hollywood Bowl, but it's nice. No, it's it's a big deal, dude. The stand have moved. They moved both of their shows that were down here into the little shitty room. It's hilarious for the Legion of Skanks. Is that what's happening? Yeah. They're frantic Jimmy upstairs. Jimmy Garofalo is bombing in a tiny room right now. Oh, <laughs> that's what I feel the worst about, Garof. <laughs> Off. Uh, we have two amazing guests uh, coming on here. It's a new thing we're doing, by the way. What? Introducing we're, the guests? We're introducing guests and we're having them come into the room because we are in. So it's the main room. <laughs> main room. Main room. It's the fucking main room. Where the fucking main room on my birthday? <laughs> Lewis, I like the full disclosure. Lewis, before the show goes, you know what, on this show, I mean, right before we started, he goes, let's, let's introduce the guests. And it makes no sense. It's the same thing we nope. do, except they have to walk down the aisle. <laughs> and they can high five like pro wrestlers, dude, like WrestleMania. <laughs> but I like when you go, uh, we're going to introduce our guests. It's a new thing. It's a new thing we do. It's a new thing, dude, by having them come into the room, dude. We, 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 one, step by step, we are becoming more and more like Kill Tony. Come on, folks. <laughs> come on, dude. That's the goal. That's it, dude. We're going to take over. That is the goal. We're going to keep moving downstairs until we're in the garden. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Our first guest, everybody, has a new special called I'm Normal. It's out right now on YouTube. Make some noise for the hilarious Mike Racine, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) We've never done intro music for a guest. This is going to be great. I'm going to say our next guest is going to be like, it's been one week since you looked at me. <laughs> no rhyme or reason nice to, to it. Here. Hell yeah, dude. Um, our second guest, everybody, you know him and love him. 
His new special, Year of the Dragon, available right now. You know him from the Adam Friedland Show. Make some noise for Nick Mullen, everybody. It's my song. I want to hear it. <laughs> it was Rage Against the Machine. Oh, okay. All right, thanks. <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here with us. Do happy, I have headphones? Ha happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, Lou. Are there headphones? headphones? Do you have headphones for Nick? I guess I only need it for the music, but if that's done. No, no, no. We'll, 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 we'll get other elements. Oh, okay. You. We'll make sure we get you some headphones. Sorry, I fucked. No, <laughs> it's fine, dude. My, my team has failed us once again. Lewis so it's your birthday, up. Lewis? It yeah. is my birthday. 40, birthday. 42 years old. Thank you very much. You're only 42? 42, yeah. Oh, okay. I feel like that was kind of insulting. No. You're saying like I no, look. No, I mean like you've, I look. you've accomplished so much. <laughs> <laughs> the young age of 42. Yes, two fun birthdays. They're easy to remember. Louis is April Fool's Day, and Dave is uh, Hitler, Columbine, and 420. And 420. Hell yeah. 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 So I prefer the weed ones. stuff. No, no, no. And the Hitler stuff. You think's pretty dope. <laughs> <laughs> At some good points. Yeah. I. Uh, yeah. You know what, guys? I got to be honest with you. 42 does not feel any different than 41. Nothing different here right now. No, and it's not that exciting of a, no, of a yeah, turn. It's, it's not one. Forty-five them. sucks, and then all the ones after forty-five, you start going like, "Damn, dude, I'm dying soon." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a one point where you realize I'm not. Ha I'm more than halfway through my life, and that yeah, was yeah. like three or four years ago. And then you have to start thinking things like, "When I was eight, felt like a long time ago." So that's cool, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm fucking. I, I don't. Know, I mean, there's no way that I'm gonna live till eighty-four years old. I'm definitely more than halfway to death. There's no way you're going to live to 44. You're on borrowed time. Yeah, I don't know how you final destination this long into life <laughs> without having some Rube Goldberg machine of terrible things happen what to you. What is the average uh, life expectancy of a man? It's like 77 years old, right? For a Puerto Rican man? <laughs> 36 years old. <laughs> For a high-strung Puerto Rican man. I have no idea. Tell me what the average it's life expectancy is. It's definitely different for a Puerto Ricans and whites. All right, fine. Can you look up average life expectancy by race, please? Thank that's you. Pretty good. For Puerto Rican, is 80 points. I bet you that's actually longer than... Dude, Dominicans live to 72. Well, like, they got the big turtles that live for like 400. It's <laughs> <laughs> true. In, right? Isn't that... Must be in the water. It's that water. <laughs> the tortoises. What, what does the average American live to? If a Puerto Rican lives more than an American, that fucking rules. Just destined to roam this earth and be that much louder and more obnoxious in movie theaters. <laughs> yep. 76.33. Wow. Take that, gringos. Wait, no, hold on. You can't compare Puerto Ricans to Americans because Puerto Ricans are Americans, no, we're, unfortunately. No, we're property of America. We're not actually. And, that's right. No, compare uh, Puerto Ricans to white people. That's the comparison. Well, it's a, you can't make us factor all those other groups in. Uh, I bet Mexican shorter. Puerto Rican lifestyle is like, you know, you sell shaved ice and do a bunch of like jobs don't require socks with your shoes. <laughs> so I do think it does make for a longer life. Seventy-six point four years for white people, dude. Latinos are fucking crushing it. Yeah. Thank you. No, Thank those you. Latinos, no, Puerto, Puerto Ricans, <laughs> because you refuse to work. <laughs> you put yourself in no line of danger. <laughs> Why would you die when you're home all day yelling at a woman with a mustache? <laughs> I don't want to live past 84 years old. That's it. What's the perfect age to you live? You definitely to? don't want to get to the your day all day is just watching a television and looking out a window. <laughs> like that does seem like it sucks. Yeah, dude. Just fucking. Well, it depends on what's out the window. <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> if it's Puerto Rico, it rules. Yeah. That's why they live till 81. <laughs> out that window, such great shit. Yeah, dude. It's fucking. It's movies. one of those 400 year old turtles. <laughs> Fucking another 400-year-old turtle. Dude, I've, continue... I've swam twice in the ocean um, where I've encountered sea turtles. Really? And, and they, have a, they have the same story about me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, it's only two times I've ever swam close to the shore and I encountered a Lewis. Let me tell you. What was the encounter? I've just gone... Out of my way, sea turtle! <laughs> Now, here's the thing. You get a book of five tickets for this comedy club for $20. <laughs> you no, know, you go, like, snorkeling off the side of a boat somewhere in, like, Belize or Puerto Rico or wherever, and sometimes you'll encounter a sea turtle. It's fucking magical. I don't know why you keep using the word encounter, but I guess... 
Maybe there isn't a better word. It's an encounter. What do you it mean? It just feels like it's more than just like you saw one. Encounter feels like you guys exchanged something. Like you both tell the story to this day. <laughs> I saw them Lucy's. <laughs> like we had an encounter. Like, you know, we bumped shoulders and something fell out of his bag. And then you were like, sir, turtle. You dropped something. That's like an encounter. Sea, tur- sea turtles are fucking majestic. They're cool. It's cool that there's like some types of animals. What's is this happening? sea turtle music? What is this? Production, is, are you having an aneurysm? What is happening? <laughs> Can you play Aquarium music crazy loud over our words? <laughs> and then you go, the thing has been, there's a what, of What's that? Thing, thing, I feel like they had an crabs. idea from okay. five minutes ago and just started it now. Sorry, okay, things are different down here and you could hear everything through your headphones that we the sure room could. can't hear. We didn't realize that and we will, we will hold on to that uh, no, forever. It's okay, it's okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry. So, we, so, so everyone in the room knows, I don't know if the people at home heard we heard what I would no. assume is sea turtle Music. majestic. Oh, I was people getting, at home won't hear it. I was it's getting just hate you. speech. <laughs> <laughs> the N word. <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, there he is. Ah, uh, the sea turtle. Uh, Did, can everyone in the room hear it now? Yes. It's, it's really loud in my head. All right, so yeah. this is what we were hearing. Yeah. The turtle goes to shore. <laughs> <laughs> to find his food and put eggs somewhere. Dougie, that's exactly what it looks like, by the way. Alex, turn it down somehow, because it's blasting. It's blaring. What do you it's mean? Blaring. Exactly? What do you mean? It's exactly they, the most relaxing music ever is being blared into my ears. Are they slow, the sea turtles? Uh, like compared to fish or I whatever so. the fuck. Lives. Well, a tortoise is on land. I know, but this tur- re- regular turtles slow. I mean, I think it's oh, a whole so thing. Good. Are they fast in the water, though? I think is Nick's question. Because I don't understand why a turtle would decide to be a land turtle. If he... <laughs> <laughs> makes decision. I got why would a turtle decide to race a rabbit? These yeah. are none of the questions we can't answer until we teach him how to talk or find a doctor. Well, sometimes you'll see yeah. this on like like Instagram. You'll see somebody put a turtle on top of like a matchbox car and uh-huh. then it just fucking book shit really fast. It fucking rules. Oh, so they just weighed down. There's too much friction on the bottom. Yeah, exactly. If you put wheels on that turtle, it will go. I can't get the idea out of my head about a, like a turtle that only has a hole for its dick. Is that true? So the head, the head and the arms don't come out. It's just, it's just a shell. You walk up to it in the woods, and you're like, what the hell is this thing? It can't move. And then just a cock comes out, just a green... <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? It what just gets that? horny at you. That's all it can do. A turtle's dick is a hole. What do you mean? It, there, it's a type of turtle. Nick, don't give away the whole play. No. Okay. <laughs> it's a type of turtle with no holes for anything but its cock. It's a fictional animal that I've come up with. <laughs> <laughs> it's not real. It's called the two-cock tortoise. I can't stop. It's been stuck. The, the, the mental image of me, like a dream, coming in a clearing in the woods, and there's a shell... <laughs> and I'm like, what's wrong with this turtle? It doesn't have arms or leg holes. There's only one. The production team's on the fritz trying to look this up right now. Like, <laughs> turtle, hole, dick, uh-huh. shell. What, what is, what it is just it? gets horny. And it's you. just, its dick just slowly comes out. And you're like, oh, I guess it's a turtle. <laughs> do tur- do tur- Lewis would try to fight it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do turtles have dicks? I have yes. no idea. Or yes, do they yes, have, yes. like, uh, pussy slash dicks? No, you know, I still don't understand how that works. How, like, birds... Like, does the bird lay Oh, my God. Then... Not only do they have dicks, they have pieces. You were right to fear this, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine the arms and legs and the head don't come out. <laughs> it's just the shell with that. <laughs> it would be the perfect animal. <laughs> just no predators. <laughs> <laughs> It just lies on the back of its shell and you spin it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Man, what a big dick. That's a ma- I mean, pr- proportionally to its size, that is a massive b- veiny dick. <laughs> it's got yeah. blue veins on it. That's a 15 inch human dick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and look at that girl's hands. This should not be turning me on, but it is. <laughs> The whole thing is kind of sexy. And what can I see she a turtle's pussy now? Can we just really? I don't want to yeah, be sexist. How sex- do they arouse it? I don't want to be sexist. No, we got an equal opportunity. Turtle pussy, probably the name of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I did this today with my girlfriend at dinner. We did that thing where you put your hands against each other's hands and you make a pussy. Mm-hmm. And I realized as a kid, I always pretended to act like I was like, oh, it's a pussy. Yeah. I never, <laughs> not once did I ever know what it was, like what they meant. But now as an adult, I'm like, you know what? 
That's a big pussy. <laughs> that's a huge, that's a huge gaping pussy. Yeah, you hey, look, see the insides. Here, look, what do you got to say? Watch this. The, the insides are coming out of the hole. Massive, <laughs> massive that contest, dude. You oh. have to really get a camera in there to understand what I'm talking about, guys. That one queefs a lot. Everyone's doing it at home right now. If you've got a partner you're watching this with. Yeah. But as a kid, work. I was like, yeah, dude, a pussy. That was it. You loved it. I loved it. I was like, but I, it was just all pretend. I never got it. Yeah, they should show kids pussies before they play that game. Yeah. Just and realize how reference. fucking dead on they're being. Yeah. It is a pussy. What was the first time you saw a pussy? Not in real life, but like you're, the first time you remember seeing a pussy. Not in real life. Yeah. <laughs> just, uh, Are we back to fantasy talk? We're no, we're talking like about. Like just in your buddy's hand? No. <laughs> <laughs> like a picture? Yeah, like a picture or a video or whatever. The first time you saw a pussy. Young, I, uh, young, I'd say. I because I, I was into him pretty young. I found my dad's like porno mags when I was really young. I must have been five, five, like six. Wow. I found them and then his mom threw uh, away his best porno mags because he had to fight for his right <laughs> to party. Is that what partying is? Jacking off the porno? <laughs> I guess so. I mean, if you're going by that, if you're going by the Beastie Boys theory, yes. Dude, I love partying. <laughs> Just sitting party around my room, jacking off. You know, a party. <laughs> you had a fight. I went to I went to parties in high school. <laughs> I was cool. Also, the mom threw away his best porno bag, which means she left some of the shittier ones. You could have these. <laughs> She's like, oh, you're barely gonna be able to come to these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck. If you can come to this, God bless you. <laughs> you got to fight for that, right, Nick? Uh-huh. Uh, finding dad's porn is probably the first way. You That's. Think I think usually. that was the first time I remember seeing a chick like spread like legs, pussy, and it was like you know this was maybe late eighties, early nineties. It was just crazy bush, at like at all down the legs and shit. Down the legs. I, uh, the fuck kind of porn like, magazine was that? But you know what I mean, like at the top of the le- like it was like a completely unkept bush, and it I did I did not care for it. You didn't like it. I was like, ooh, I wasn't supposed to see that. You saw an, you saw an ugly pussy. Yeah, Dave, you were just holding a mirror. Oh, <laughs> it's his birthday. You got to give him that one. <laughs> All right, you know what? It's his He's guys. His birthday. I am an ugly pussy. Yeah, you're good, buddy. Yeah. You already got me. You ugly you pussy. Me. Okay, Lewis. We're don't all don't push pussy. it, Lewis. He said he'd take it. It's your birthday. Let's not fucking overstep. <laughs> <laughs> I had that one in the chamber for a good minute. I was like, how can I, how can I really squeeze God, this one in here? An ugly so, pussy since the joke. setup of when was the first time you saw a pussy? First time I saw a pussy, I thought. But like a oh, beat too late, I was like, all right, it's too late to call one of these guys an, uh, an ugly pussy right now. Uh-oh. And then I, get, I have to wait for it. Well, uh, Lewis, yeah. you brought up the subject assuming that you do remember the exact first time you saw a pussy. No idea. Okay. Well, it was a weird subject to bring up then. No I, I, I mean, that'd be crazy if I remembered that. What was the first time that? you took a shit without your parents being there? Go. <laughs> 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 the first it's time. weird you don't remember that. That would seem bigger than like training wheels off the bicycle. Yeah, your first uh, uh, like first alone, alone dump, alone shit. Hell yeah, that's that's. Probably, I don't remember. It though I either. imagine that would be an awesome experience. But yeah, I don't remember that either. This smoke break is brought to you by YoDelta.com, the official getting high sponsor of the Gas Digital Network. I probably remember my first pussy. It was uh, a magazine that we found on the train tracks. Yeah. You're on the, you're on the train tracks. Nice. Yeah, when you guys were looking for that dead body. <laughs> <laughs> doom, doom, yeah, it was like, doom, it was like doom, a... Doom. <laughs> that was the craziest summer of my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's my best friend's mean or older brothers. <laughs> No, we're going to find that body first. (laughs) My favorite part about Stand By Me is at the end when they just casually mention that one of the guys got stabbed in the neck (laughs) at McDonald's. This is like heartwarming story about childhood friends. They're like, oh, yeah, and Mikey. He got stabbed in the neck at McDonald's and fucking died. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The, the other end. one went on to become an architect. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> this moves on. 
he was like trying a, to help people. It's like a two hour sketch. <laughs> <laughs> With this like non sequitur at the end. Just to get this hilarious ending. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he shit himself to death. <laughs> Someone should do the end of Stand By Me with what they really all became, like Corey Feldman, like a fucking raging musical lunatic. Yeah. And uh, Jerry O'Connell. Even the dead guy. body actor <laughs> fucked him. <laughs> <laughs> he was getting passed around day and night in ye old Hollywood. <laughs> Luckily for Jerry O'Connell, he was too fat to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> then so he got after- in shape and is gay and married to a model. Right. He's the gayest straight person in the world. Who's I guess on, besides P. Diddy. He's on one of the best TV shows of all time. Sliders. You remember Sliders? My step pop loved Sliders. Yeah. I, rem- I thought you were saying My Secret Identity, his first show that I did love also. What? He was a teenage superhero who oh. had the highest powers. What was his, what was his power? Just basic Superman looking type Looking at child shit. porn? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got to keep it a secret. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like a two-season show where he just played like a teenager with superpowers. I watched it. I don't remember any of this. What were the powers? Just basic like Superman shit, flying. Do you guys remember that Nickelodeon show, Alan Strange? It was about the kid that was an alien, but he was just like a black kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. He was like an alien, but they just got a black kid to play the no, alien. That would be well, so funny. Now, now I want to go back. That's so funny, because in that universe, that means like aliens got to openly say the N-word before, <laughs> before white. But can you imagine just a 50-year-old... Like Boomer finding out that a fucking alien was going around just blasting soft A's. Yeah. <laughs> and he couldn't? Yeah. Why are they But a guy that? from Mars? No, they probably <laughs> could have. They probably could have. Then it seems like Nickelodeon was the Wild West during these times. So uh-huh. I think you could have got away with anything. You know, make Let's Ariana see. Grande say the N word and suck her own toe. <laughs> Let's see. Bleep, blop, bleep. Uh-huh. Sorry. Oh, Aaron see. Dean, who lost her virginity one month later. He goes, sorry, I can't have you over my house for dinner because you're an alien. alien. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my dad would kill me. Are you upstairs with that alien? <laughs> <laughs> if I come home with a half-alien baby, my father's going to kick me out. <laughs> Please play, play more of it. I've never seen this. Show. I've never even heard of this show. There was a whole few years of Nickelodeon that existed that I don't even. Well, it's probably before you. This is before time. me. No, ahead of your time. You're probably not watching Nickelodeon. No, when I, Nickelodeon. When I was out, by the time I was done with Nickelodeon, it was like Doug and Rugrats. It was never. It was none of the live action shit. Well, I had weird jump backs because it was a. Uh, Clarissa my, explains it all. It was my stuff, but then I had young siblings who I watched all the time. So Nickelodeon was all through that. And then my daughter. So I did go back a couple different times. You had young, very young siblings, and yeah. you had your daughter very young. Yeah. So Jay just had kids. Yeah, Jay yeah. Jay just had like, fuck, like what, thirty years, twenty years of just kids. Oh yeah, for sure. So yeah. you've watched a lot. Jay of Alan knows Strange. everything about. Never Alan shows. Strange. Though. I never oh. watched that one. Now my daughter luckily started getting into the Disney Channel stuff with a real hot young one for her. Mm. Uh, that's where you got a young. Uh, I mean, who who had the hotter children, Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon. or Disney? I think Nickelodeon. I'm quite sure. You're yeah, fucking yeah. minded. Uh, let, Selena Gomez. If you was... could send me back in time to the set of Victorious on the pilot episode, hold on, no, let me finish, boys. If, uh, Louis, uh, please continue. Uh, I'm this. with you so far. Yeah, I got Lewis, you're <laughs> drunk on selling out the big room. Stop talking. No, 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 no. hear me out, guys. The fr- Victoria Justice, day one. Woo. Yeah, but Disney had flat out. Uh, and they, flat out. Better like, pay. Better payout to Disney also because young Selena Gomez, young uh, Hannah Montana, who now you can just watch taking a piss while she drinks a beer <laughs> in pictures, which is pretty great as a father <laughs> to a child where you go, why? Look at these. I'm so sick of these shows. And then one day you get a payoff. She turned 18 and did exactly what no. you hoped she was going to do. So I watched, I watched uh, the sequel to Fifty Shades of Grey the other day with my girlfriend. And uh, I, the whole time I was watching it, I thought I was watching... Uh, What's it called? Fifty Shades of Aliens? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've already had the greys. It was... Uh, what was it called? The darker, the darker shade of gray. Darker the berry, sweeter juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever it was, it doesn't matter. But Fifty the, Shades Darker, it? right? Yeah. Fifty oh, Shades yeah. Darker, and the yeah. the girl is played by an actress named Dakota Johnson. And the the whole time, I'm like, you know what, dude? I can get fucking into this because in my head, it was an adult Dakota Fanning. 
I was like, yes, this is fucking, I'm watching Dakota Fanning get plowed out by this fucking dude. Nope. This rules. Then when I found out that it wasn't, I had to go retroactively scrub that from my turned on mind. Yeah. I think I think Dakota Fanning is still eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen any evidence yeah. that I have no idea, but I was very disappointed. She was such out. a bizarre child actress. Yeah, she had sure. little fucking rice teeth. And that, but then she was also she was like a good actress, but like she was like like you know, like Faye Dunaway. She would be <laughs> like she's like, Welcome to my birthday party. <laughs> 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 This is like old little, Hollywood, right? Yeah, like a postmenopausal eight year old. Hello, oh, darlings. The, the boys are back in town. Right? Like, why is this weird little freak? You know? My Philip would have loved this party. I mean, and then, yeah. she's like, she's like old sassy Hollywood. She's always a widow. Well, you've seen I Am Sam, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that whole movie. It's like she's. It's, uh, uh, Sean Penn is playing dumber than he should to be a, <laughs> a man that somehow has a child, and she's too smart to be the daughter of a mentally disabled man the entire time. Agreed. That's my that's my review. <laughs> she should have been less retarded. She should have been more retarded. Yeah. Yeah. But I anyway, the, I think we're the only ones who saw I Am Sam. But this is the thing: what happens is a lot of the time these young children actresses will grow up and they get naked on camera, and that rules. But that was not what happened in that movie, and they right. fucking tricked me, dude. Different Dakota. Yeah, different Dakota, dude. And it's I Don think, Johnson's daughter. I think they knew. I think they knew what That's they were cool. doing. It's Don Johnson and Melanie Griffith's daughter. Oh, okay. Melanie Griffith. Melanie Griffith. A little known fact: she used to raise tigers as a child with her family in the Hollywood Hills. Like on, like ride them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't know what you mean. Tony Griffith got hot. And Wait, what do you mean they would race shit. tigers? They, they raised like their own tigers. Oh, raise, I thought you said race tigers. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. These are race the follow up question does make more sense then. Yeah, yeah it does. No, they used to raise them. Okay, yeah. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Equally now stupid. That'd be fucking. Look at her. Ew. Yeah, it felt as shit, huh? Ew. Why do women age? Remember, <laughs> it's, I, I, it's a goddamn nightmare, dude. Do you remember Milk Money though, when she was like the? She milk? said she went to the plastic surgeon and said, "Make me look like one of the tigers." <laughs> 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 I want to trick them into thinking I'm their god. <laughs> Bring up Milk Money, Melanie Griffith. Dude, Milk she Money, so dude, Milk Money, Melanie Griffith was hot, and that the whole thing in Milk Money was children got a hooker. And she to she fall literally in love with her dad, right? But not only just fall in love with her dad, first she show, she she molested these kids yeah. first. That was a scene in the movie where she exposed herself to these children. They and then they just move her. on with a, a, a lighthearted romantic comedy afterwards. Yeah, well, what if they, she does nothing and then they call her boss and then everyone's in trouble? Yeah, she That's was, not a good She good was thing uh about. I'll I'll defend no, her. Body was she she was cool about it. She you was gotta, like, Look, I'm not gonna fuck you, your children. You, gotta you do can the see scene. some tits. They never, no, but she never. They never wanted to fuck her. The whole thing was just to see her tits. I think. Pull up that scene from Milk Money if you can. If you can. If you wouldn't mind. If it's not scrubbed from the internet. I mean, that was the thing they really tried to push on us from the the late '80s to the early '90s that hookers were real people too. <laughs> Like, there's milk money. There was fucking what was the uh, Julia Roberts Pretty one? Woman. Pretty Woman, dude. Shitty woman. They were there was a category of comedy movies. Like, oh no, hookers are lighthearted, awesome people. They're or untrustworthy <laughs> hookers. Or they're, or they're smoking <laughs> hot and they're waiting to be swept off their feet. Yeah, no, no. It's like, hey, if, you, if you meet a hooker, you should probably marry her. That's a good idea. <laughs> probably a good idea to settle down, start a life with her. <laughs> Let's see. That was a the movie Night Shift in the '80s was about. Henry Winkler and Michael Keaton just running hookers, and it was just like a lighthearted, like, nah, these are good kids, good girls. <laughs> good. I'll tell you what, I remember her being hotter than it's so far it's been in these scenes. We were just kids, so any, anything with tits was really hot back You're then. Right. Me, Lewis, and Jay were in that huddle. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. This is Legion of Skeets. Legion of <laughs> I don't know which one's me. Oh, there's no fat one. Damn. <laughs> I guess I'm the... Fuck. I guess I gotta be the short pud. <laughs> that I'm naked at school, and I have to get home without anyone seeing Turn it up a little. I have that dream, too. Is that Haley Joel Osment? The last time I had that dream... I don't think so. There was an alligator chasing me. You ever get that one? No. Do you ever watch cartoons? Yes. Are you married? Well, you ask a lot of questions. This is fun. She's dead the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> she's, on the, she's on the bed. Now, how do you want to do this? Standing up or on the bed? I'll stand. I meant me, not you. 
She was prepared to fuck them? I don't know. <laughs> what, what is happening? Did I watch this as a child and think These it was okay? This made absolute These are sense. actual children. <laughs> what, are you going to start pawing for his pants? <laughs> All right. what do you this have? is completely jerkable today, by what? the way. All right, who's hard first? <laughs> I see dead hookers. Is she naked yet? Don't start until I can see. You turn off the lights, we can't see. So I, I love how, like, I mean, we should be making is the perspective. It? I was like, well, imagine this was a guy exposing themselves to little girls. Yeah, but it's not. It's not, though, so it's <laughs> totally cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I mean, Does she show her tits? At, dude, yeah, she shows her tits. Oh, wait, she exposes herself to these kids. What? <laughs> that is I pretty... can't do it. I want to be... And little gay Dave in the middle. <laughs> oh, there's a little gay Dave. Oh, I no. Can't. Please. Oh, no, Warren's going to see. <laughs> <laughs> there's Jay on the left. <laughs> there's Jay. There's me on the right. I'm having a great old totally time. Totally in. Okay, Miss, it. don't worry. I'm not going to tell anybody. That was cool of you. <laughs> I'm not one of these little fruit Mexican kids that tells on his fucking teacher molesting him. I'm Thank you, Miss. The hotel. Yeah. There's Dave not getting in on the bit in the middle. <laughs> He's going home and telling right away. We got this lady, an adult lady showed me your boobs. I didn't want to look at him, Mom. <laughs> you ride out the group, you piece of shit. <laughs> Jay and Dave were there. They loved it. They looked. <laughs> Dude, that's what happened with uh, my son. Rad him and Max looked at just butts on YouTube. Mm. They just wrote in sexy on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and, a, and a bunch of butts, which I, I was assuming was women's butts, they but they never specified. Yeah. They're just speaking Indian at the end of the day. <laughs> 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 they got like a whole cultural <laughs> education. <laughs> I've seen every Bollywood movie. <laughs> And then, yeah, James came back to me, and he ratted them out. He was like, yeah, you know, Max, he really wanted to look up butts. And I said, it's okay, I guess, if you want to. And then he fucking, <laughs> he ratted them out. Nerd. Yeah. What he's, a good boy. He's a good kid. But nerd. Yeah. I yeah. ratted myself out when I was a kid. So what's the premise of this movie? Because that seems fucked up. You never saw that movie? <laughs> no. Yeah. That's the premise. <laughs> The premise they hire a hooker, but they want the hooker to fall in love with their dad. I mean, you're right. If it was a man, it would be much, much worse. <laughs> it would. So the, mo the movie is called Milk Money because what they do is... It was Aaron Berg. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron Berg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll show you my You want to see my penis? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey here, look. I'm going to stroke my cock for you. <laughs> yeah. What are you, Chinese, trying. buddy? Yeah. <laughs> this oh, well, guy's gay with this guy. I'm going to we see from behind Aaron's back, he's undoing his pants, and then we see their perspective, and it's just <laughs> the top of his head. What do you think? <laughs> the movie Milk Money is about uh, three kids who decide that they, I believe they want to have sex. That's the beginning premise mm. of the movie. But So what they do is they start Collecting milk money every day from other kids in school. Are they selling? Shaking them down. Porn. What? How do they make the money? They start collecting milk money every day. Oh. I believe from selling porn. It's very sexual. The whole movie. There was a thing where, like, my generation, they made a lot of sexy movies for kids. <laughs> yeah. Blank check. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Blank check. She made. He made out with the adult woman <laughs> in that movie. You remember that scene? Yeah. They open mouth kissed. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, the eighties was that was like the golden age of Hollywood pedophilia. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean it. From, They're like, from, we don't have to hide who we are. From anymore. reading crazy pedos days, for pedos. And, crazy days and nights. That seems to be that was the decade where it was a bonanza mm. on on young young children. And uh, so I would imagine, yeah, it's just producers putting movies like that through the, uh, the pipeline because they're like, oh, yeah, we'll have kids on set. And we're, we'll be like, oh, we can take them in the back and be like, let's make this a little more authentic. You know, well, that's pretty. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's the only reason. But it's movies. amazing how many normie people would just like see movies like that and just not pick up on anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it was just a movie about that and a bunch of moms were like, oh, movies. Well, that's because they were blaming. always raping our kids. They were. <laughs> Yeah, well, they were saying it was like all rock bands that were doing that. Right. You know what I mean? So then you wouldn't, you'd be like, oh, of course, of course it's not Hollywood raping my children. It's, it's rock stars. It's what, rock I, stars. what I remember about no, the movie is these kids, they, I believe they were from like Jersey. I see much of I have this right. And they 
they took the train into New York City and they got she, Melanie Griffith was not only was a hooker, she was like a street walker. Oh. Wow, the real trash. <laughs> yeah, junkie like, shit. They went over like by the West Side Highway and they were like, hey, come here. He was, I was just getting ready to jump into the Hudson and end it all. <laughs> <laughs> But how did you get a hooker in 1991? You had to like literally go to a, a fucking underpass and be like, "Come here, hooker." How do they get her? Do we remember? They no. rent a limousine and then they pull up. Is that what they do? Str- I don't know. I haven't seen the movie. It does. <laughs> he told you he didn't see the movie. They get a stretch limousine. That's how I would do it. If I was, it was 1987. I want to get a prostitute. I start off with the limousine. First. That's Absolutely. a lot of. That's a lot of wasted money. Okay. That's so much of the milk money. It's going to lower your hooker quality. Uh. We went in too big on the limo. Now we only got 15 bucks for a I mean, I think the amount of money that she costs, too, it's like it's pretty fucking cheap how much money she costs. It's reasonable? Yeah, she was a super cheap hooker for what she was. If Melanie Griffith showed up and was your hooker, you'd be like, like well, first of all, you that's crazy that you're a hooker now, Melanie Griffith. Yeah, do you hate? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> you're going to get one Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she was like, yeah, she, man, she looked way stringier than I thought when I was younger. Who else are, are women that have played hookers in Hollywood movies? What's happening back there? Uh, oh, there's a Greek wedding happening in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Opa. Why are things so much louder in this room? What? Like the clinking of glasses and the breaking of things. Because you're freaking out, dude, because we sold out the main room. We did sell out the fucking main room, dude. We're so kill Tony. <laughs> We're so kill Tony now. You did it, bro. For a guy in his mid forties, no one thought you would pull it off. Did you ever? Did, did you ever rat out you and your friends in anything? You ever, like, well, I remember in the first grade, I stole one of my grandma's beers. My great grandma Rose, she used to have like a twelve pack of beer in the fridge at all times. Nice. And I stole one of her beers, and then me and J.R. Stewart, we just took a sip each, and we're like, "Oh, that's gross," and we left it on the corner. And then I went home, and then in my mind, they were going to count the amount of beers in the fridge. <laughs> She's like, who stole one of my cans of piss? <laughs> <laughs> my new bottled granny piss business. <laughs> uh, my doctor told me to bottle my urine to test it. <laughs> Keeping it in the fridge. <laughs> to bring to the doc my cans, my piss cans are doctor. <laughs> One of my piss cans are gone. <laughs> right, uh, the piss samples are my cancer. <laughs> Grandma, I drank your beer. I think if I've ro- Grandma, oh no, what? yeah. I rolled over hard in first grade. Me and my friend uh Ian were gonna write Ian Fidance? No. Yeah. That'd be a fucked up. Ian Halpert. Friendship. We had a, a crayon, and we were going to write fuck on the school <laughs> wall. like, dude, let's fuck it. Let's, <laughs> let's, we were, dude, what if we suck the crayon? We were both going we we to write fuck on the wall. Dude, let's draw boobs on my ass. <laughs> you can fuck my ass and pretend it's a girl. More or less. A crayon, dude. Dude, young Ian is always <laughs> trying to do gay things with crayons. <laughs> it's, just, it's just Millhouse with a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Bart, can you fuck my ass? <laughs> I brought my own crayon. Is this Delaware Millhouse? <laughs> Bart, can you fuck my ass? Um, Ian and me were going to write fuck on the wall with crayon on the schoolyard. And um, I did it first and got caught. And they brought me to the office and I said... Uh, that we were, we got it. We were both gonna write. I said I thought we were writing Frank, and I didn't know how to spell. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, and that Ian Halpern masterminded this and told me that I was writing. He told me I was writing Frank. And like, why would you write Frank? So you blamed it on Ian. <laughs> Try to completely blame it on Ian. Yeah. So you said I was writing Frank. I'm a dumb idiot. <laughs> I'm fucking Mimsy. And he goes, write Frank on the wall. Go, How do I spell that, Ian? And he went, F-U-C-K. Okay, I understand letters, but I don't understand what they mean together. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you ratted this kid out. He got in trouble. I don't know. <laughs> Bart, did you fuck Ian's ass again? <laughs> Marge, the whole house smells like cum. <laughs> Did Bart invite Ian over again? 
<laughs> Bart's best friend is a young <laughs> Ian Fine. <laughs> that should be rewritten. It's all gay shit. Mr. Burns, can boy, I get the day off today? If that boy comes over here again, he's got to suck me off, too. <laughs> you can sleep in Bart or Lisa's room. Mm. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm. Here you go. I, uh, by the way, solid practical joke. I, I literally asked my staff for a pen so we could put notes and write the names of Nick and Mike's specials on the thing. And they gave me this pen, which when you push the button, it explodes. It electrocutes you. Oh, really? <laughs> it's a goddamn nightmare, dude. And I kept on doing it like three times. I was like, what is going on with this pen? <laughs> Why? No, it's fine. I don't need it now. Will you give me another pen, dickhead? Who gave me this? Which I hope one that of, one actually explodes. Which one of my staff members gave me this because you're fucking fired? This is crazy. Well, you don't. You buried the lead, dickhead. You got to ask him which one gave it to you. And when they admit it, then tell him he's fired. It's, it actually, it, it hurt way more than I thought it would. That was yeah. a great thing. Remember Tom McCaffrey? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember the comedian Tom McCaffrey? So I remember when I was producing shows back in the day, back at... Uh, Bart, how about you put the pen up my ass? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I was producing shows at uh, the Laugh Lounge in the Lower East Side. And... <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> this wasn't April Fool's Day. But I don't know why I had gotten like a prank, like electric thing, like to shake people's hands. Yeah. But it was like a real, like electric. It was one did that you, really electrocuted you. Did you get it or did you come with it? <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I bought this at like a prank shop somehow. And I was like, this thing is great. So then I had Tom McCaffrey do my show. And he was like, oh, can I get paid? And I was like, yeah, dude, here. <laughs> and then, <laughs> instead of paying him, I electrocuted him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I remember, hey, that's really not cool. He's not, a, he's not a tough guy at all, but he did the thing where he, like, cocked back to punch me. <laughs> he was like, oh, was like, oh, oh, okay. And I remember his description of it. He was like, I expected money. <laughs> and instead, I got electrocuted. <laughs> it was such a drop off from what you expect. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Tom McCaffrey. Shout out to Tom McCaffrey. Well, we have an April Fool's Day thing here. We have a lot of things. Um, we do it is, it's April things. Fool's Day. It folks. is April Fool's Day. Oh, yeah. I've never been much of a prankster myself. Pranks don't work anymore. Even though I did get got by like probably five or six April Fool's Day posts today. Really? I was like, oh, shit, dude. Elon and Zuck, they're fighting. No oh, way. <laughs> get out of town. I'm going to get tickets. <laughs> <laughs> it was, was on Twitter all day going, but that's the exact opposite of your typical take. <laughs> <laughs> so why would you say that? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it kept on getting me over and over and over again. I'm a fool. I feel like they're never good. Yeah. They have a whole bunch of posts. Sure, I've fallen I just for a few it. in my life, but yeah. I also don't like being pranked. Nobody Bad. likes being pranked. You're being made a fool of. I mean, those people at the end of Scare Tactics seem pretty happy. Like, oh, thank God there's not real vampires. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> they're living now. Yeah, like, oh, thank God there wasn't a Frankenstein monster that was going to kill me. Is there still that whole, like, uh, YouTube world of couples that do the prank videos at each other? I love those. I, uh, Where it'll be like a, a guy will be sleeping, and then it'll be like a Dominican chick will just hit him in the face with a frying pan while he's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, what the fuck? She's like, ah, oh, you got pranked, you fucking bato. <laughs> That's their channel, yeah. Yeah, no, they get, they're pretty, it's crazy. There's one I, would, I remember seeing years ago, but it was a guy. That's like this is just domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> you like put Crisco all over the floor, and his like pregnant wife would walk. In. <laughs> oh no! Fucking smash her head. I didn't see, I didn't like, see those oh, ones where it oh, 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 oh. Just shove the camera. In the <laughs> She'd be like, "What the fuck, Ryan?" And then, the, but it was like an account. They had subscribers, and they'd be like, "Check out <laughs> next week when we're back from the urgent um, care." That's how you make a podcaster. The ones I was talking about more just the guy like scare. You know, like when she comes around the corner, doing like the boobs. But don't like, you feel like a I, I've seen a few of those videos, and I, every time I'm just like, I could never exist in that relationship. No. Like, imagine being in a relationship and having that much with. fun. Yeah, it's like living it. It's like, <laughs> living, <laughs> just, it's like living it. Having something in common with the person. <laughs> yeah, it'd be awful. It's like living an early but, 2000 jackass. Like, uh -huh. anytime you turn a corner, there might be something terrifying that happens, and then, like, someone's just laughing at you. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. No, no, Dude, I, I remember do one it. time I, still would laugh one time at I did. Uh, she, you, your wife comes home, and you're. You're spraying diarrhea into another lady's <laughs> face, <laughs> and, and that's cheating in their community. <laughs> Content, <laughs> babe. <laughs> She's just covered in diarrhea. She's like, I had no idea. I'm so sorry. <laughs> pull, up, pull up some couple pranks. See if there's any uh, famous couple prank channels. 
Um, yeah, no, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't. I just want to fuck it. When I'm home, I want things to be serious. No, I want it to be no, no. Fun. I walk through the door. There's Crisco. On the floor. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I sit. I sit down on the toilet, and there's Saran wrap. I just shit all over my own butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that was oh, a big come one. Come on. That's a big one. That they oh, did. you bitch. <laughs> Uh, I now, like I, I do feel, like the running into a room and getting hit by the saran wrap in the face makes me laugh. That one's so. good. Yeah. <laughs> classic classic pranks, kids. I did the one to my mom um, where you you put tape around you know the hose that connects to the sink. Mm -hmm. um, you put tape around it so when she goes to turn on the sink, it just sprays out at her. Okay. And I mean, I did that to her and. She beat me up like it was an amateur boxing match. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she just fucking kept going. She took a break mid beating. It was just, yeah. She had corner men giving her advice. <laughs> yeah, I, <did. laughs> I was like, cut me, Jen. <laughs> uh yeah, but okay, let's see. This is Colette. Oh my gosh. Ow, 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 hey, ow. Hey, hey, hey. And 34 milliseconds. What do you mean? For you to run in here when I'm hurt. I freak you. <laughs> Ow! I just freaking. Oh, I hate them. And see, I was right here right away. No, Did these this that? is like Christian oh, pranks. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about like, you know, a girl like she's sucking his best friend's dick when he walks in. Yeah. Well, nice, like, I got you a turkey sandwich. I said ham. <laughs> <laughs> Get rid of this was... Nicholas Sparks bullshit. Get off TikTok. It's on YouTube. YouTube that was the worst that was prank the worst I've ever prank. seen. Dude, that was uh, to yeah. open up with that prank. And we're going, what? Yeah. The rest aren't going to get better. Testing my husband <laughs> for some bullshit reason. <laughs> Six seconds and 34 milliseconds. That's a good response time. That yes. was an unbelievable yeah. response time. At least take 45 minutes. I, <laughs> I, if she was being raped in there, <laughs> yeah. she would have to wait another 43 <laughs> minutes I'll tell you what. and 52 seconds before the people who could do something They're, would arrive. Also, if my girl's in the bathroom going, ow, ow, I assume she, I'm assuming she's shitting, uh -huh. and I'm going to leave her alone. Yeah. I'm not going to rook the door. Me, Is she bigger than my dick? What? <laughs> I told you you're not. Allowed to take shits bigger than my cock. <laughs> you know the rule. Christine, you're now, going back on the oatmeal. Me and Christine have been back. The oatmeal diet for you, nothing but oatmeal. We've been together for so no, long, no me meat. and Christine, that like, if I heard that coming out of the bathroom, I'd just go, "You all right?" <laughs> and even if she answers like this, "Yeah," ah, I'm like. Okay. <laughs> I'm assuming that it's some like fuck it like yeah girl she, problem. She, she needs a hysterectomy or something. Yeah. I have no idea what's going on with her pussy or butthole, yeah, but yeah. she doesn't want my help if she's in the bathroom screaming no, I, out. I, it's not even, dude. Six seconds. It's yeah. fast. I mean, I couldn't even register that my chick was yelling in six seconds. She should have said, like, "Help, help! Yell. There's an alien in here." <laughs> 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 yeah, dude. The only, I mean, it, I could, if she was like, sounded like she was being attacked, I would understand wanting to kick down the door. But a woman saying ow in the bathroom, yeah. like, that's not my dude, business. Six seconds into just yelling ow in the bathroom, yeah, I'd yeah. be like, are you yelling ow in the bathroom? All right, let's, let's see some Muslim pranks. Happening. Right I would now. put my ear to the door for a good 30 seconds mm -hmm. <laughs> to make sure she was saying ow over and over again before I kicked the door in. Mm. Yeah, that, that was unbelievable time. That was an awful prank. Do we Terrible have anything prank. else? Do we have good pranks? Let's see. Husband and wife pranks of 2017. This was the good uh -oh. old days. This was, this was Trump was in office year one. You could really prank a bitch. Mm -hmm. Live. Yeah, there was no domestic violence for like those four years. <laughs> see, this is some shit right here. It's acid. <laughs> 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 but what is that? Okay. I mean, is it just... I hope it's like fucking coolant for yeah. a car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something really bad to have on your skin. <laughs> She's like, this is placenta juice. Scorpions are Nikki's absolute biggest, most... This, now we're talking, dude. Hold on, wait a minute. What, also, that's kind of a very crazy, specific fear. Scorpions? They're... Yeah, that's that's place. pretty so bad. Nikki Are they cooked? That's not that bad, dude. Gets a extra it's probably a delicacy somewhere. Oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, that's good. That's making me happier. Is that? Do they live in one of the rooms oh, from man. Clue? <laughs> What's? <laughs> What the fuck is this house? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, what is a prank exactly? He had her eat fucking scorp- like dead scorpions. Yeah. That's a solid prank right there. <laughs> That's not I mean, a prank. That's like... It's just being a horrible person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just tricked him into doing something terrible. Pranks are weird umbrella to put that under. Yeah, I just... I also like just a couple... Well, that's better than the bathroom response time. The bathroom response time is more sadistic than this. Oh, it's absolutely... Yeah, they're both pretty sure. rough. Yeah. Because you're not... You're walking away from this being like, oh, it's, uh, they weren't real scorpions. What an asshole. But the bathroom response time... No, I think like they were The next 40 years, were you're real like, oh, scorpions. there was that time I didn't get to the bathroom early <laughs> enough. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but I'm pretty sure those were, those real, were real scorpions. Yeah, they were dead. Okay, yeah, but still. Yeah, but still it I, think dead people, I think people eat dead scorpions. The dead scorpion is not even a bad prank. Yeah, no, if you don't want to eat it, though, Lewis. it's pretty brutal. Never prank it's me like pretty... that. That would test our friendship. You got me to eat dead scorpions? Yep. Dude, are you out of your mind? You, why are you saying it like you're saying, like, are a, you out a, of your mind? A rotten orange? It's fucking scorpions. <laughs> A human, a, a, human flesh? You'd no, freak out? A rotten, a rotten orange would actually be worse because you're going to be poisoning yourself. I, w- I would absolutely eat a scorpion. I would eat a scorpion right now. I'm not saying you two There's psychopaths you could do this to. wouldn't <laughs> eat a scorpion. I'm saying if you wouldn't eat a scorpion and you weren't expecting to eat a scorpion, finding out that you just ate it in your turkey sandwich. Can I say sandwich? surprise be, scorpion in a turkey yeah, sandwich? To be fair, it's tough. Can, it I, can, sucks. I, can I make a point? Jay looks like he eats scorpions. So Totally, dude. He does have sort of a... Rocky like a hurricane. Dude, when he was on... <laughs> All right. When he was on tour with corn, I feel like it was just a diet of scorpions. Hell yeah, dude. Well, yeah. Rap scorpions. <laughs> the worst All right, kind. everyone. Lisa's <laughs> biggest fear is aliens. So we're going to take her to Red Lobster. <laughs> 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 yeah, lobster's kind of like a big scorpion. <laughs> yeah, well, How? You know. What is it? That one just extra point. The scorpion's got one more pointy part also, than the lobster, but it's fucking one tenth the size. But I'm bad at seeing any like evidence of like the life of a thing before. Like lobster, I'll just do, like lobster tails exclusively. I'm not gonna sit there. I would never order a lobster where it comes like where it's like, looking at me and shit. Uh huh. With its weird. Little I, I, I went to the. A, I, I went to the lobster the, once. The Wegmans in the Navy Yard, and half the lobsters are just dead already. <laughs> 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 Gentlemen, let's take a moment and thank Capsulite.com for supporting today's show. We love Capsulite. Look, if you're a fucking fan of the Legion of Skanks, you're a fucking low-down, no-good, degenerate, <laughs> drug addict, and alcoholic. Let's get real. You got problems. You can't put down the bottle. You can't let it go. Well, guess what? You don't have to feel like a piece of shit the next day. You can feel like a normal, everyday, good American citizen yeah. by taking Capsulite, which will prevent your hangover uh, you take it before and during your drinking, during your night out, and you wake up the next day feeling as good as you've ever felt. You scuzz piece of shit. (laughs) (laughs) And look, it's doctor formulated. It supports your liver. And it is truly the most potent product on the market. And it's a portable packet that you bring with you on the go. So you keep it in your pocket. You keep it in your wallet or your purse. And you go out and you guys can fucking just get hammered and have a great time. Why do you have an individual pill in your pocket? Well, it's a packet. It's a powder. Jay, you've used it. Why do you put this powder in your pocket (laughs) and just open it at bars? Because I want to get as fucked up as yeah. possible. I'm trying to make sure this girl doesn't get too drunk, is why I'm pouring this in her drink. <laughs> no, 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 I don't no, recommend no, that, you, that you you should not dose females at the bar with Capsulite. I saw him put something in your drink and went to the bathroom. No, 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 I'm trying to make sure she doesn't have a hangover tomorrow. No, I'm being really great. So listen, all you got to do right now is go to Capsulite.com. That's C-A-P-S-U-L-Y-T-E dot com. Yeah. Use the promo code SKANKS when you check out, and you're going to save 30% off your entire order today. Once again, use that promo code SKANKS when you check out. You'll save 30% off. All right, where were we? Dude, I, uh, I, yeah. we made lobsters once, and I, I had to fucking kill the lobster myself. It was Oh, wild. you got like live lobster? Live lobster, dude. Brought it home. It was, fucking, it, was, it was crawling around, making noises in the bag. It was fucking freaky as fuck, dude. Yeah. It's not screaming. And what say. you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take a knife and smash it into the back of its skull yeah. to fucking turn it off, and then you boil it. But I was like, I because it's... It, 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 turn it off? Yeah. What are yeah. you, an assassin? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what kind of lingo is that? I have to go turn. Lewis, off. Lewis went sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get this bitch from across the room. <laughs> Crawl for safety, Sebastian. I couldn't. I couldn't do it, dude. I couldn't. Because I, was, I felt so bad 
that instead I just boiled it alive and tortured it. I can't stab this thing in the head. I have to stick him with a thousand pins. <laughs> I would, in a cowardly act, also do it that way. I'd rather hear the screams than deliver the blow. Well, it's not like it didn't scream like us. It's not like, oh, help. No, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> that can't be what it sounds like. It sounds like a fart. <laughs> Aren't you cares? supposed to boil them live, though? You are. Uh, they, you that's are. The way, but we found out, I think, in like the mid-90s that they it's feel that humane. shit. It's more humane to... You're just not supposed to store them dead. That's why they didn't eat lobster forever. Oh, look, 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 look. Look at this shit, dude. Make a quick incision. Oh, that's a fucking big-ass lobster right there. Holy shit. Oh! Oh, oh, dude. Do you see how I could not do that? Oh, of course I see. Do you see how I could not do that? He's touching dude. it with his regular that's crazy, hand. dude. It's bonkers what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Fuck that noise. Yeah. Boil alive, no bitch. Way. I'll tell you what, though. <laughs> Boil I get alive. I get it. I'll tell you what, no though. No way, dude. Give me them claws, though. I don't even think ISIS does that. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's wild. How, it's so fucked up, dude. There's, I, was, I tried. I put the knife right to the back, and I was like, no, I can't do it. <laughs> Did it scream? It screamed. But they say it's not screaming. They say it's just like steam or something going through them. But it is it? Do, do, can you Google do lobsters actually it's, scream? It's steam escaping. Yeah. From but they feel it for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, probably. 100%. Feel it. It's, yeah. It is like 10 you're, seconds you're of absolute the color torture. color of their exterior, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you What's looking for here? No, they love it. <laughs> they, love, they love you eating them. It is just easier on me to not do that. <laughs> Absolutely. That, that, that shit. That was. I, uh, thought, you were, I thought you were saying just give it a one little fucking jab shot too. I didn't realize I, you had I like think, split, split I think head head. that guy fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's like it's fucking super easy. <laughs> just, <laughs> nah, and then you just keep fucking sawing it. It's just it's a one said, step. Then the die, second, you son of a bitch. Then there's four or five more steps after. <laughs> just keep. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get another lobster? <laughs> get a two-handed. <laughs> What's the most humane way to kill a mouse? You don't. I you don't just care. fucking don't eat in the office. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> you just fucking take eat at home. I uh, no. I recently I had a fucking mouse. I had uh, two mouse traps, and I put them in my drawer, in my kitchen, my bottom drawer, and. Uh, uh, I mean, I came, I went out, like, went to run an errand. I come back, and I heard, like, a little flop, and I was like, oh, we got him. What? What? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that to me, Lewis? The mouse got caught in the one, and it started flopping around, and then the other trap snapped on its head, and both trap, one was on its head and neck, the other one was on halfway through his body, and it was just twitching like this in two traps. And then I had, I, I had to, and this is the first time I've ever done it, I, I took it out and I fucking put it in a bag and I fucking stomped on it outside. Oh, what? Yeah, dude, I had to put it out. I, I've done that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nope. I made it bite Wait, the curb. Went... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I think it's like you went American history. It, yeah, it was. You fuck with the wrong bull, mouse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the mouse beat him in basketball today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but I said because I you felt came so over bad. to my neighborhood, mouse. Today you're gonna learn a lesson. It was, it was, and it was also like a cute little like it was like a brown. It wasn't like a gray, ugly New York City mouse. It was like a little brown that one cute, with like blue yeah. eyes. Could have been so your son. <laughs> 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 I see my boy. <laughs> Doggy, I'm telling you right now. I, uh, no. I would uh, get that in a bag somehow without getting anywhere near it, that situation, and I would put it in a neighbor's garbage can. And you would just let it flop around and die until it died. You wouldn't stomp on it? In I heard a you neighbor's put it in a bag, garbage they can. suffocate. Perfect. I've, no, uh, you have to like put it in a fucking airtight bag yeah. and put a rubber band around I, it. It's a whole to do. I had a. Uh, okay. Also, that's way worse. This thing's like already dying. Now you're going to suffocate it. <laughs> I like, Lee, just step on it, dude. Yeah. I had, uh, this, I don't know, this is 15 years ago or something like that. I had a, a mouse in my apartment and caught it in one of the snap traps. And I came home and it was like it caught its tail and hind legs and it was just like running around on it. And I just came home, looked at it. And left home. Yeah. <laughs> I just left my home. And I went. This I don't is your home I now, Mouse. I just I went, I'm not staying here right you now. You just paralyzed it. I, yeah. And I just left and came back like I think two days later. And oh. it was dead. And I was like, I was just like, it's good. This is gonna figure itself out. 
Yeah. Right. And I'll go hang out it with them. Jesus, take the wheel. Uh, yeah, I, it's I, sort of I, like what we're doing with Israel, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that far off. Yeah. <laughs> seems to kind of be the policy. <laughs> I mean, the yeah, mouse, I that mouse was using that apartment as a human shield. <laughs> and I was like, I'm not, I'm not responsible at yeah, this I point. Yeah, I grew up with uh, two uh, women inspired to be grip at grabbing mice and shit like that. No, I'm the, same, I'm the same way, but I just felt so bad for this mouse who had two different snap traps on its body, and its eyeball was looking up at me, and it was twitching and shaking, and I was like, this is fucking crazy. I, yeah. I, I can't be this guy. I, they put glue traps down in the office, because Adam does just a little food on the ground. On the ground. Half-eaten Thai food on the ground. I'm going home. And he just leaves. <laughs> <laughs> so there's mice all over the place. And I'm like, yeah, maybe if you didn't leave food on the ground. And then he's like, they'll eat cardboard. They're not attracted to food. I'm like, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they don't want to eat cardboard. They want to eat food. They do that when you forget to leave food out for a day on the ground. <laughs> And I came in, and uh, or one of the other guys that worked there, he put down glue traps, and I came in, and there was two mice in the glue trap, and I just started, I was crying. And I, <laughs> and I, I spent like an hour working the mouse out with olive oil. And then I, I, I like, Did yeah, you I, really? Yeah, and then I bought like an enclosure, and I got food and water and stuff. And I, no. I, I, really? No, I, yeah, I took it home, took care of it for two days. And then Is this died. the best April Fool's Day prank <laughs> ever? No, 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 yeah. No, I, yeah, it died two it days died later. It died two days later. Yeah, yeah, and, I was, and then I was, was like, From the poison oh. from the glue trap? Either from that, or then I was like, did I use too much olive oil? Did I <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know. I was, uh, but it really upset me, yeah. I remember my mom, when we were kids, we, we got glue traps once in the house. And my mom, you know, I don't know what she didn't think far ahead. She didn't realize what a glue trap was going to do. So this mouse was caught to the glue trap. And it I remember. to get away. Yeah, she tried to get away. And she felt so bad. She was like crying. She was like legitimately upset. And so, I mean, my mom, she, she was a fucking, you know, she beat the shit out of me, but she tried to save this little mouse's life. And I remember she took it outside. That mouse could have been something. She was trying to, she got the kitchen, like the yellow kitchen gloves, and she's like pulling it off, and like it's like skin and face is yeah. like stuck to it. Yeah, you, like you, you have to use oil. To she didn't use oil. Yeah. What she started to do was she started to throw dirt on it, oh. <laughs> buried alive, <laughs> <laughs> to try to get dirt to like, you know, to get the stickiness off it. So this mouse's life literally, eventually she just couldn't get it free. So she didn't kill it. She just took it and put it in the garbage, covered in dirt and mud and glue, oh. and it just twitched. Yeah, and that's how they the killed Joe Pesci at the end of the casino. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. Please he's don't kill him. He's still breathing. <laughs> don't kill him. Come on, he's still alive. <laughs> you don't have to do this, Frankie. I heard you're supposed to drown him, but I like put one in a bucket one time, and then the trap was like moving, and then it just stopped moving. And then you take it out of the bucket, and it's like soaking wet, like it's uh, like an episode of SVU. You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, yeah, fuck all that. I don't want to touch it or anything. I hate it, dude. I, I can't stand it. If I saw a rat, in my, if I saw a rat in my apartment, I'd just move. Yeah. Well, I, I, have it's cat, I, have, I have a cat, so I let the I let the song from the Lion King kind of take care of all those problems. <laughs> That's fair enough. In my house, <laughs> then it's just Lion King. That's fine by me. If the cat eviscerates, spends an hour eviscerating the mouse and torturing it. <laughs> That's fine by me. I like have the, a dog. Uh, but I feel like that dog with a rat would just, if her behavior is, is indicative a little, so is far. Is it a little wiener dog? No, no, no. Oh, she's okay. a, a boxer beagle, but her behavior so far seems like she would just roll over and let the rat eat her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she does every time we go to the dog park, like a town whore. It's crazy, because that's <laughs> Well, they, they do say that dogs act like their owners. No shit. <laughs> I do say that. When, by the way, when that happens, I go, like, mother, like, uh, daughter. Christine. <laughs> yeah, that's Christine. She goes to the park and just spreads it out for a bunch of fucking... <laughs> for a bunch of Jews, rats. Rats. That's what they... That's what they... I think they made wiener dogs for originally, is like... Eating fucking, pussy? Yeah, well, killing, yeah. Killing rats. Really? Yeah. They had like a utility at some point. Like somebody made that dog, and then people were like, "What the fuck is this?" And they're like, "Well, there's a rat czar in New York now." And yeah. I gotta say, I don't hear people talking about the rat problem as much. The anymore. rat czar? Yeah. The rat, like from fucking. It sounds like it should the be rat, a rat king. Yeah, from, so uh, it should be a rat, but no, it's a lady who's in charge of getting rid of the rats. I don't hear the, people complaining about the rats. From so the Nutcracker, <laughs> there's a rat czar. Mm -hmm. New York appointed a Nutcracker rat czar. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Hamas. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a Hispanic woman. I bet she knows. Look at her. Everyone gets a broom. I am the queen of the rats. 
She does kind of look like the queen My of outfit, rats. Yeah, she comes with a jacket made of rats, <laughs> but they're alive still. Why does she have this security detail? <laughs> she goes. There's she has because she, uh, she has a million enemies to... in this city. Yeah. Wait, that's Eric. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a lot of threats against the Queen of Rats this if, week. If she goes by one of those protests, but I am not intimidated. Yeah. She was one this, of those protests with the giant inflatable This guy, rats this guy over out. here, just covered in a hundred rats. They're all biting him. He's like, "Go save yourself." <laughs> <laughs> Do not worry about me. <laughs> I was born to do this. <laughs> <laughs> What's her job? Is her job to get rid of the rats or well, control them? Well, she gives them? them all suitcases if they agree to leave. No. <laughs> I will give you one gets, suitcase yes. if you leave. One teeny to me. <laughs> if you promise to leave politely. She goes through the rat's phone and yells at them. <laughs> <laughs> I will give you one train ticket. <laughs> Take your rest to Texas. One suitcase. Uh, what is her job? The the rats are. I didn't know. I didn't know this was even a thing. That's how bad the rats are here. <laughs> they call her the director yeah. of rodent migration. Nice. <laughs> she plays the flute all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Running from town to town. Yeah, one job, right. lady. Today, play that flute. Today I have to walk to Stanford, Connecticut, keep playing the flute to get some more of the rats out. <laughs> Today I have to walk to <laughs> Bayonne, New Jersey to get these rats out. <laughs> these fucking rats. Okay. They only listen to one instrument. Thank God flute songs are so long. <laughs> She's planning to lead a team of experts with focus and energy on uh, depriving them of food, water, and shelter every day. Damn, take that. No more free spaces at the nice hotels. Hell yeah. <laughs> Suck a dick, Ratatouille. I don't care if you make a delicious soup. So wait, deprive it. So it's her job to fucking make sure there's no garbage in the streets? Is that what it is? I guess. I don't know. I, mean, I have no idea. But How does that work? How do you just, like, how is there somebody that's in the government that's like, less trash? <laughs> well, she's going to throw Adam in jail. Yeah, so okay, good. I don't know. Is having a dog now, though, and walking the dog and noticing the trash in the street, I will say it's never there for more. Like, if you see someone just throws, like, chicken bones and shit on the ground yeah. by a tree, like, that's gone the next day. I was on 47th Street one time. and It wasn't or, always that way. It was maybe, maybe it was, I don't know, somewhere up there, a little bit north of Hell's Kitchen. And I walked down a block. I turned down a block. And on the street is, I mean, it must have been, it felt like it was like a movie set. The amount of garbage that was on the street, it went up to the third story. And I'm not kidding. It was like no. 35 feet of trash bags. And I'm like, this is like a year's worth of garbage from a 2,000 unit apartment building. I don't know where. This isn't funny. It's just about, <laughs> it's a story about a bunch of trash I saw one time. <laughs> but it was amazing. You should have seen the trash. <laughs> Doing so much of it. <laughs> New York City, like, I'll always love New York, but it, it legitimately is the only place you'll be in front of, like, a multi million dollar, like, uh, you know, apartment, like, you know, high rise with multi million dollar apartments, and there'll be trash piled up outside. There'll be a homeless Bums. guy just figuring his ass out. Literally, people shit. who spent $3 million on their, like, 600 square foot apartment, and they walk out to just a mountain of garbage. Yeah, and that's just how they, the greet, that's how they greet. greet the dead. But, but come on, you can go to SNL every week. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell else are you going to get a slice of pizza? <laughs> <laughs> a hot dog sitting in water. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck, middle of the country. <laughs> yeah. I want to do. I want to talk about some of these pranks going awry. But let's do plugs real quick. Let's do it, uh, gentlemen. What are you plugging? Nothing. Nothing. Very cool. <laughs> This is oh, how wait, little wait. respect Nick has for our show. <laughs> wait, no, wait. He was like, yeah, whoever wait, listens to this I'll listens be, to me, so. I'll be in Portland, Oregon next weekend mm. at oh, Helium. Yeah. Helium Comedy Club. Portland, oh, yeah. Oregon. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, my special I'm Normals on YouTube right now, and I'll be in Zanies, <laughs> Chicago. Thanks. Very funny, dude. So yeah, great. Why do you wait, cheer for your plugs? But I can... <laughs> Sorry. All right, whatever. Yeah, that's it. I'll be in Zanies uh, April 3rd at, in Chicago. Oh, yeah. uh, go to lewisofskanks.com. I got a bunch of dates coming up. I'm going to be at the Funny Bone in St. Louis, uh, April 11th through 13th. Grab those tickets. And I got uh, American Comedy Company San Diego coming up at the end of the month. Then I got Denver. I got Las Vegas, uh, Point Pleasant, New Jersey, New Orleans, Lafayette, Tacoma. A lot of dates coming up. Go to my website. 
Grab those tickets. Also, subscribe to the New Guest Digital. We do a bonus episode of Legion of Skanks every week, so you get the Friday Night Hang as a bonus if you guys subscribe. You also get over 800 episodes that are not available anywhere else. It's all uncensored and ad-free. You get extra bonus uh, benefits like the Racist Live Chat and more. Ooh. Two specials on YouTube. Check out both my other podcasts, Real Ass Podcasts and The Regs, and have yourselves a great April Fool's Day. Aw, thanks. That was sweet. Good, Davey. Uh, uh, April 12th, uh, Portland, Oregon, uh, the Aladdin Theater. Come on out to that show, guys. One night only in Portland. It's the first time I've ever uh, just headlined a theater myself. So please buy tickets for that one. Uh, and then I'll be at the uh, Funny Bone in St. Louis, uh, which I love that club. Uh, and then Tacoma and Spokane. That's I was told today. That's how you say it. Spokane. Spokane. Been told yeah. by us eighteen times. For the no, last two weeks. no, 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 no. I write it down. Spoke A N N. Go ahead. No. Jot it down, dude. Write it down. Go with this it's pen. not a real pen. This pen right here. I know what you're doing. Write it down, dude. I, I got a pen for you. Just, I remember right. it with uh, uh, Pearl Jam, Jeremy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's no. I mean it. That's how I do. Jeremy Spokane. Yeah. There you oh go. wow. That, yeah. That is actually yeah, a great, great way to remember it. God damn it. Nick, you're fucking genius. No, like, uh, it's just what my brain did. I didn't, it's like a, what do you call it, a mnemonic device? <laughs> demonic? Yeah. Fuck, yeah. It's a demonic device. Uh, all right, uh, and then uh, Atlantic City, Las Vegas, um, a bunch of stuff coming up. ComicDaveSmith.com. I got uh, uh, Libertas and 30 Minutes with Dave Smith is all up on YouTube for free and part of the problem right here on the Gas Digital Network. That's right. Oh, thank you. You're goddamn right. <laughs> BigJComedy.com for all my dates. Uh, my next few things coming up, I have... Uh, I know what it is, Lewis. Just do I it. Je- I'm not doing just, it. It does not, doesn't kill you. Well, let me just leave my plugs first. <laughs> I would be dead if it killed Remember you. Remember I wait. This is, a, this, is, this is such a, a glimpse into Lewis's psychology. <laughs> In his mind, he's like, I'm going to beat this pen. <laughs> <laughs> There's a way to win. <laughs> the shocking pen. If I keep doing it, eventually I'll triumph over it. Uh, BigJComedy.com for all my dates. My next few coming up. Jacksonville this weekend. Paco's going to be out there with me, actually. So uh, fucking but kick tickets for that. All right. Jorge, that was very sweet of you. Uh, San Diego coming up. Virginia Beach. Get tickets for uh, all my dates at BigJComedy.com. I'm all over the place through the year. The summer with Burt Kreischer on Fully Loaded. Uh, and then May 10th, Netflix is a joke festival. I'm doing the main room at the Comedy Store. May 10th. So get tickets to that. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Also opening uh, at the Forum for Burt out there. So... Check that out. Listen to the Bonfire five days a week. Me and the great Robert Kelly, Faction Talk Series XM 103, and the SDR show on the Guest Digital Network. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Very cool. You want to look at these, these pranks <clears throat> going haywire? Oh, I, I forgot to tell you guys. I have to uh, I have to quit the show. What? Yeah. But wait, this is real? <laughs> April Fools. <laughs> oh man. Son of a bitch nailed it. <laughs> I just dunked on you bitches. <laughs> oh, man, I was so happy for a minute there. Uh, we did think about doing, like, trying to April Fool's prank the audience, but we couldn't think of anything to do. It all feels cheese, Dick. Yeah, it, everything felt really cheesy. Like, we were going to, uh, we were going to, me and Jay were going to pretend to get into a big fight, and then we realized how bad of an actor I was in the middle of this idea. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll be, like, I'll be like, Lewis, dude, seriously, chill out. Like, fucking Lewis is going to be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Turns oh. right into wrestling. <laughs> oh. oh I right think, here. You want to be your friend? The, I'll be your friend. I think the crowd wants to hear my bullshit. <laughs> yeah, <I'm> all right. <laughs> ah, shit. So instead of doing pranks on each other, we thought, we thought of some pranks that have gone awful throughout history. and we, we, There's been a bunch of them. And we debated that this first one was a prank. I count this as a prank, Jay. It's not a prank. It's a prank. She murdered her husband. That's a prank. Uh, <laughs> I thought you were going to say Ted Danson, blackface. Uh, <laughs> that's a good one. That's the number one. That's a prank. That's a, the worst one. What Was that a prank? What was the deal with that? That seems like a prank to me. Ted Danson's like, I'm going to prank everybody and do blackface. And then they were that like... That Whoopi Goldberg's <laughs> roast. Yeah, and then they were like, you can't do that. Even as a prank, you can't do that. Was but it she, at Whoopi Goldberg's roast? Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. It was a roast for Whoopi Goldberg. Nah, he did it. I mean, you can do it, because he did it. Do you remember Roddy Roddy Piper fine. did half blackface? <laughs> but it was a message of a... 
All right, look, unlike Yeah, but Ted, he did that being like, no, I'm not actually doing it. I'm saying, what if I did blackface? <laughs> <laughs> that was like, he, he's like, I know you can't do it. I'm, I'm doing it to say that what if I did. What's funny is it's not really blackface. It's brown face. It's, yeah. it's like the color of black people face. Also, if you have sex with Whoopi Goldberg, you should be able to do anything you want. <laughs> yeah. I, feel that, I think that's what he thought. Like, hey, think, guys, what if I liked having sex with Whoopi Goldberg? <laughs> He might have just had sex with Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah, he ate her pussy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he just he went down on she, Whoopi Goldberg she and came up like that. She could have exploded yeah. during sex. From her ashy pussy <laughs> lips and her big black thighs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck I like to did. imagine he's under her clothes during the view. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's just somewhere under there. What let's is Ted up, Danson doing up. now? He's on Kirby Enthusiasm. Oh, is he? Yeah. I don't watch that show. It sucks dick. Whoopi sucks now, right? Whoopi's, uh, was she on The View still? I think I she's still know. on The View. I think, but Whoopi like sucks on The View. Well, at, no, she's at good. What? She probably is She good got kicked she off. Does. Did she? She got kicked, well, suspended. Which is, that's because she viewed, she viewed too hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. A couple of years ago. When, she didn't oh, pull back, her, yeah, she didn't pull back her viewing? Yeah. yeah, well, they were like. We had yeah, a view. We didn't say view. Yeah, no, because she said she doesn't count the Holocaust as being racist. No, she said. Uh, <laughs> she goes, was, that was between y'all white people. <laughs> she goes, <laughs> she literally did say, uh, she goes, yeah. someone was bringing up racism, and she goes, racism? The Holocaust? That's white people yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, all right. right? <laughs> Listen, y'all. Racism is yeah. when you guys bring yeah. that shit to us. Right. The Holocaust. That's was you when they asked to see my receipt at Home Depot, <laughs> <laughs> not the Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> Which it's like Whoopi Goldberg's a comedian. That's one of the funniest things I've ever heard. <laughs> it's like what? I don't understand. Yeah, that, the View really is a podcast. Way. The View invented <laughs> podcasts. Yeah, they really did. No, it was Regis there's and no Kathy. Difference. Regis and Kathy Lee was the first podcast. No, The View. Definitely. Like, Joy Behar, there's nothing groundbreaking about this show. Joy Behar has done all of these lines. <laughs> She's like, For now, years. what do you mean he's an alien? He's a little black boy? <laughs> Back in my day, we wanted to fuck the black boys, but you weren't allowed to say that then. <laughs> And it's just like nine o'clock in the morning <laughs> <laughs> on, on ABC. <laughs> <laughs> that is a legion of skanks. That is. Those oh, like, for sure. The original. Like, yeah, the sorry. talk, the sorry. view, oh. all of it. All of it. Yeah, credit where credit is due. <laughs> You're correct. All right, guys, let's take a quick moment and thank our sponsor for today's show, which is Factor Meals. Thank you, Factor Meals. You love them, Jay. I Tell us it. about them. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, what, does, do the only people that advertise on part of the problem, it's like just guns and fucking... Just no, Factor Meals was on there, but Jay, you're a fan. Yes, they're fantastic. Chef-prepared meals ready in two minutes in the microwave. Delivered right to your door. 34 different options every single week. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Whether you guys are keto, vegan, vegetarian, whatever your dietary restrictions are, they got you covered. Factory Meals is the best. It's the jam. The best. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, They do have jam, dinner. Jay. You're right. Jam. Uh, it's very, very easy. Very, very easy. And I'll tell you what. They have enough options that you never get bored of it, which is great. You can keep mixing it up over and over again, and their breakfast is also awesome. If you go to factormeals.com slash legion50 and use the code legion50 right now, you're going to get 50% off. That's code legion50 at factormeals.com slash legion50 to get 50% off right now. All right, let's get back into it. Let's, uh, let's see some of these breaks. So this first one was, this was a story, I guess, the story ended up being, and Jay, you know more about it than I do because you watched like a documentary or something on it? Yeah. Or the cops. It was a cops. It was the no, episode. it wasn't cops. Okay, so this woman, I guess she caught her boyfriend cheating or fucking around or doing something, and then she somehow convinced him to get into a suitcase. Do you want me to just tell it so that you know it? Yeah, tell it, tell it how you know it. I'm telling it from my perspective. You don't have a perspective. Neither I, of us that were was there. My, that was my perspective. <laughs> I just watched a thing on it is all. Uh, I don't know if anything had to do with cheating. Uh, she claimed No, she that, said he was cheating in the video. Okay, but it was also putting his hands on her for sure. Uh, and the thing I watched, and she, I think, convinced him when they were drunk, having a good night, one night, convinced him to hide in a suitcase to play some kind of hide-and-seek game or something. She zipped him into the suitcase and went upstairs, pretty hot. went upstairs and passed out drunk. 
But when they uh, got all the evidence, and she was drunk, and she put, uh, when they pulled up her phone records, she made videos the night before, like listening to him screaming in the thing, begging to get out, and she's just going, you piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you get. Dude, the mice yeah. in Dave's apartment had a better death. <laughs> <laughs> We, we have the, we have the video. So play the video of her. This is him in the suitcase. Oh, so look at that shitty carpet. This is a yeah, trash really? couple. For everything yeah. you've done to me. So. This guy deserves to For die. For everything you've done to me. So. Fuck you. So. <laughs> Fuck you. So. <laughs> Stupid. So. That's my name. Don't wear it out. <laughs> Why are you hitting yourself? <laughs> yeah, that's when you do when you choke me. Sarah. Sarah, you didn't tell me this was going to be a carry-on. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah, I weigh more than 52 pounds. Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. <laughs> you have to pay overages. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, they're going to jag you for a cool hundo right at check-in. That's on you. <laughs> Sarah, there's a liquid you. over eight ounces Sarah. in this bag. <laughs> Sarah, a Jamaican lady yelled at me. <laughs> Real around some. Might want to get video for it extra. What? Oh, man. Scared <laughs> <laughs> of the really nah, How does it feel to die, faggot? Real around <laughs> <laughs> Those slippers are stupid. <laughs> Dude, the wig going around. They're just being drunk and murdering her boyfriend. Oh. They're murdering her boyfriend yes. through the cadence well, of like a drunk bitch. <laughs> By the way, I if she would have let him out, though, he would have beat. If he hits her already, if he should, he would have beat the shit out of her. At this point, you have to kill him. I don't understand how. Look, I don't understand how he got tricked into getting into this bag. And I definitely don't understand how he's not rolling over, flailing around. I don't like, know. Like, how would you just be in the bag, like, I think he's, bag, pretty, I think he's pretty tight in there. No, I, you'd be wailing, dude. Well, you don't want to think you're a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying right, to open the zipper from the inside. I mean, I, I, I am still trying to get laid at the end of this, so I don't want <laughs> to start crying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if they have this video, but the video of them showing her that video. I have that right here if you want to see it. It's Please. so funny because she has like a real like, what's that? Mm -hmm. I don't remember that. Do I have to watch this? I can wait, hold, hold on, wait, real quick. Sorry, does this cop have his badge pinned to his tie? <laughs> 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 he was uh, he was good cop in the good cop bad cop of this. This is the real life Officer Ford Fairlane. That? That's the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> God. <laughs> Well, it's on your phone, and <laughs> you can either explain it or we take it for what it is. It's a prank. We're just trying to give you the opportunity to tell us what's going on. That's it. It's that long. Two minutes. It's a two-minute video. Fuck you. Fuck you. That's you, yeah. your voice. Stupid. This is where you go, that's not that's me. My name. Don't this is, By the way, just, he goes, Sarah, she goes, that's my name. Don't wear it out. That's the exact <laughs> moment you said that. Say it's not me. Sarah, that's my name. Don't wear it out. I better leave my That is apartment. definitely me, Sarah A. Jacobs. Give that second. That's the best. <laughs> she turns the phone to her face. That's me. Dude, Here's today's it's... newspaper. <laughs> It's every moment of it. It was she's like, "Oh, you have a video? Oh, it's two minutes. It's really oh, that long." Yeah. And then the video just starts with him going, "I'm dying," <laughs> and she's like, Please, "I don't uh, give a shit. I'll do anything. Please have mercy." <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but just the idea of a guy that made detective and no one ever told him where to put the bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's just he's just kind of trying to play it cool. It's glued to his head. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. <laughs> Just a detective doing his job. <laughs> Why does everyone laugh when I walk in the room? <laughs> He's a good cop, but there's something off. <laughs> He's just got his gun just in his zipper. 
was <laughs> just zipped up the barrel. Into yeah. <laughs> He's wearing his shoes on his hands. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> his baton shoved up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I know is police work. <laughs> I don't have time for any of this getting dressed or having a family. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck me. So what ended up being the end result to that case? She went to jail, right? Oh, yeah, she for murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For went. murder? Oh, that should be involuntary manslaughter. Mm-hmm. I think it was murder. It's the whole suitcase thing really makes yeah. takes it to the Well, to be her defense level. attorney fucked up because he said, "Folks, there's a lot more to this case." <laughs> 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 that meets the eye. And he, he thought that would he thought that would be slick, and then he's like, "I'm sorry, you got the death penalty." <laughs> he's like, "I'm trying. I'm, I want to do comedy." And <laughs> all right, Your Honor, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, folks, it's a show. The main room. Don't you ever one up. Sorry. One of my premises again. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Ever. <laughs> In public. <laughs> so uh, let's see. What, there's another. There's another suitcase prank. Yeah, it's a, it's a luggage prank. A guy goes to the airport and pretends to take people's luggage. Oh yeah, I if think you want to. Oh, the bald lady from the Biden. <laughs> from the Biden. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wrong. wrong. It's just Gary Busey. Wait, the black guy was the prankster? Yeah. Yeah. No, this middle aged guy saying the N word is the prankster, Jay. <laughs> no, 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 it's a prank. <laughs> it's my new YouTube channel. No, it's for my YouTube channel. <laughs> Calling youths the N word. This, guy, this guy's just legally blind. <laughs> this guy is crazy confident. <laughs> the thumbnail's like. <laughs> What was the prank? Just simply grabbing somebody's luggage? Because that's not a prank. I think about doing that every time I'm at that conveyor belt. Why don't more people steal luggage? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, sir. Oh. Oh, 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 oh security's tasing him now. He's a poor white guy being pranked. Leave him alone. Yeah. Yeah. Leave he him didn't want to be pranked. <laughs> I get it. Dude, he was just trying to go to his middle seat on whatever dumb flight he had. He just didn't want to get pranked. <laughs> yeah. I hate pranks. <laughs> oh, I, I hate did pranks. was not like pranks. I'm guilty of one thing. <laughs> <laughs> my refrigerator is not running. It is not running. <laughs> Let me get to my office. <laughs> I'm this fucking guy. Also, Canel Joseph, it's his channel. He's like, look at this dumb white motherfucker. Look, we got this motherfucker arrested. <laughs> All you fucking prank lovers <laughs> arresting me. <laughs> you just didn't want to be pranked. <laughs> What's up, prank skanks? Canel Joseph here. One crime. <laughs> This motherfucker arrested because he hate pranks. Because he didn't want a young black guy to steal a suitcase. Oh, how does it feel to get pranked, motherfucker? Oh, this poor guy, dude. He can't fly for the rest of his life. Because <laughs> he got pranked and he didn't want to. The worst part is you can tell that like they made him gate check that. <laughs> oh yeah, he's already mad. He had the that wait. Yeah, that wasn't. He did not check that bag. It was at the gate. He was like, "No, I, it's, come on." Mm-hmm. Just because like, I'm group sorry, seven. Sir. Just because yeah, I'm group yeah. seven. I'm sorry, sir. It's all taken up. Yeah. Fuck. All right. Let's see. What's the next one? <laughs> that poor guy. Actually, what is the follow up with that story? Do we know what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Still doesn't care for pranks, but he had to do 15 days in the clink. Yeah. He's an international terrorist. <laughs> Damn, it's on the so no fly list. Yeah. <laughs> this poor fucking guy. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to be pranked right now. <laughs> That's very fair. Dude, if there's some youth pranking me, I'm going to flip out <laughs> yeah, yeah. on camera. Yeah. <laughs> me? <laughs> me, you do this too. <laughs> me. Oh, dude. All these prank enablers arresting him. Yeah. <laughs> Do we know what happened with that guy? No, no, it looks like he got arrested. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I appreciate that. That was very nice to follow up. Looks like he got arrested in that video. Uh, what's the next one? All right, the next one is a friend is on top of a bridge. Let's might see. jump off, might not. Might jump off, might not. Hell yeah, first of all, hot child. Hell yeah. Yeah. 
Hot child, it summer says in the city. Woman. I'm imagining she's younger than you guys think she is. Ready? Ooh. Ooh. That, that's aggressive. Ready? Prank gone wrong. Ooh. Again, prank? She's dead. <laughs> <laughs> They're like 400 that's feet in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a more attempted Ready? murder than prank. Ooh. That's crazy. Oh, that's so- that fall also, was the most terrifying thing for the rest of her life. It forever. looks like Ryan Donahue doing the pushing. <laughs> <laughs> Play it back. I'm pretty sure that's him. Oh, the, this has a thing where she's. Like, I wonder if you like uh, fell off the yeah. bridge. <laughs> she, yeah, the girl who the girl who pushed her off the bridge ended up. I, I, I read all these stories. She ended up getting arrested and. Uh, I think serving like 15 days in jail or something. Wait, did wow. that lady die? That's not that much. No, but she like was like she like shattered her like fucking <clears throat> collarbone, a bunch ribs. of ri- yeah, a bunch of ribs. She she punctured her lung. And the girl did two days in jail. Two days in jail. But you know, because she can I tell you what happened? She, the girl did two days in the hospital, and then the mom and the daughter was like, we want her to spend as much time in jail as she was in the hospital, which was two days. Um, she should have made it for as long as she was in pain, like a month and a half or something. Well, she still currently is in big you, you know more yeah. about this video than anything else. Well, I jerked off to it multiple <laughs> times. So, but go. Do they have the thing of her giving her Once speech? Once you orgasm with something, you kind of feel like you yeah, know it. You, you know? gotta learn as much. As you gotta. Yeah. We have to hear the speech in court of her. Is that what is her apologizing? She apologizes in court. Well, she she. I mean, Look, they, afterwards, Frank they ended up, gone wrong. They ended up not being friends. She was like, "I can't just, like be friends with you. You tried to kill me." <laughs> All right. I'm 17. I'm 17. All right. Okay. 17. I didn't ask for any of this, but last summer, my said to be good friend. Oh, she's the one who got smashed. Oh, come on. Uh, Really? (laughs) You're still Uh, torn up about it? Six broken ribs. I had punctured both my lungs. I had a hematoma behind my throat. I had torn my muscles in my rotator cuff, which was reflected in the drop shoulder, and he had very bad bruising all throughout my body. I'd like to sincerely apologize. To she can't read anymore? <laughs> the pain and oh, this is the girl that pushed her? My mind was actually what occurred last summer. Aw. 38, uh, two days in 30 days community service. And she got fat, too. <laughs> <laughs> That was yeah. God. <laughs> that two days will do her good. <laughs> God. Cut her cows for a few days. That was the universe. Hey, listen. Prank going wrong, right? <laughs> That's all. Um, we have two more of these. All right, this next one is from Mexico. It's mm-hmm. a prank in Mexico. Okay. There's a gentleman getting on a scooter, and a guy wants to give him a little prank, so he tries to jump on the scooter with him. Okay. Uh oh. Little scooter guy? Uh oh. Oh, did he get stabbed? stabbed (laughs) Oh no! Oh god! Oh! Oh! Oh, that's my father. (laughs) Also, guy who's holding him, he's willing to stab you. Oh my God, dude! You need to let the guy go. Do not try to hold him there. Dude. That stab made noise. Oh, can I? Can we rewind it for a second? I go back to when again. he hits him. Senor. Oh. I mean, what are you doing? I mean, it's also like you're not even. I'm at, I'm at home, like, where the fuck is my seamless? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody better be dead. <laughs> <laughs> is standing up the right idea? You know what, dude? I think you should walk it off. <laughs> where do you live? I'll help you walk there. Oh, you're putting it back on his motorcycle. Another what? motorcycle. <laughs> No, it's the same guy. <laughs> no, it's not. Is it the same guy? No. It's the same guy. No, it's the last not. place he wants to 100%. be. hundred percent. No, it's not the same guy. Rewind it. I don't think so, but that yeah. has no. That guy's a white shirt, dude. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. 
This guy just wants to ride a motorcycle at any cost. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's the awesome, fuck? dude. Prank gone wrong, huh? Pranks gone wrong. Holy shit. That was a bad prank. Mike, what was the, uh, the end, the follow-up to the story? He's like, I think the guy got stabbed. Yeah, Thanks, yeah it's Mike. Mexico. I assume he went home. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he went to Pharmacia. <laughs> Got bandages. <laughs> yeah, they, they did surgery and then gave him a prescription painkiller. Everything two dollars. <laughs> All right, what um, is the next? We have one, one more. I, this is the last one. It's a quick one. I don't know if it's a prank really, but <laughs> a maid was cleaning out a window and was having trouble getting back inside, so they filmed it. So if you want to pull this. Up. <laughs> But she's holding on with one hand. Oh my god! Prank gone wrong. Prank gone wrong. This is just go. This is not pranks gone wrong. <laughs> what do you mean? We asked them to get his pranks gone okay, wrong. Okay, the next one. It's uh, they try to make porn, but they're eight-year-olds. Let's watch. <laughs> pranks gone wrong. Accidentally, they're five. So play the video, please. Let's watch. Can we get, please, the next one? Pranks gone wrong. <laughs> Price got wrong. It's just snuff. <laughs> like Face of Death. Have you ever seen that prank compilation, Face of Death? Oh, it's a laugh a second. Well, how is that a prank, Mike? He did say in the know, beginning, in fairness, he did say in the beginning, this might not be considered a prank. <laughs> it might just be an Ethiopian woman falling from a, with no one trying to help her. Her maid, her maid fell. But I will say, she held with like four fingers, kind for, of reverse, for almost. way way longer than you think that a fat maid would be able to hold herself up there. Well, the adrenaline, you know, she's about to die. Yeah, that's fucking wild. Did she die? Do you have a follow up on that, Mike? Oh, I got. Yeah, a yeah, she died. He's like, yeah, she fell. Thank you. <sighs> feeling, got a feeling. Yeah. Great. Let's see the next one. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was the finale. Yeah, we're on I think a roll that was now. The, uh, <laughs> Yeah. The, uh... It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> this okay, is all right. I see you dying. <laughs> yeah, fuck you pussies over ridiculousness. Yeah. You won't show an actual death, will you? <laughs> she was like, splat. What is, I've never actually seen the show. That's just my impression of it. Ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it's, you did it. You yeah, nailed it. Okay, good. Um, this, is, this isn't a prank, but I, I feel like this is such a Legion of Skanks style story. Um, is the conjoined twins, Abby and Brittany. Um, one of them got one of them got married. I'm gonna guess, man, Brittany and Abby, they're both hot names. Mm -hmm. So how's Brittany spelled with a Y and Abby? I'm gonna say Brittany. I hope it was Brittany. Yeah, they, I feel like each one of them should get half a name. <laughs> <laughs> like the Sesame Street. Yeah, uh, one of them's Sesame Reb Street. and the other Rippy. one's Eka, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, what, can you pull them up, first of all, yeah. before even... If I bring up a photo of them, you could probably guess which one got married. Uh, if no. I think you could. The, the happy one. On the outside. One. <laughs> the one on the outside, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, really? How are we supposed to guess that? <laughs> well, she's she's they're growing, trying to, put, they're trying to put the other one back. It's, it's the one whose head is, like, not tilted to the side. She seems... That's why I... This looks oh, like she's doing that thing where she's <laughs> leaning into him, but he's leaning away. It looks like they accidentally had the camera on panoramic. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, some info on them. Um, they each control one arm and one leg, and... They share all of their organs below the waist. I could show you a diagram. All of their organs. Below the waist. One Alex, pussy. Alex, you know which organ we're thinking about. They have one pussy, one asshole? So here's their, here's their body. Uh, uh, why'd you have to show a child version? I can't come to this. <laughs> it's literally what I said five, five minutes ago. <laughs> it's just a nude child. <laughs> Rib cage, lungs, two, wait, three lungs, two hearts. One two. vagina. It says Whack. one vagina? One vagina. One child one vagina. Yeah, one uterus, one pair of ovaries. Isn't that, uh, isn't that Burton Tom's podcast? <laughs> <laughs> two stomachs, one hey. vagina? Oh, whoa. 
Yeah, it's one vagina, one urethra, the one at the bottom. Um, I'm so, so when he fucks his wife, he technically has to look at both of them directly. Has to. That's the, the upside. That's the best part of it, dude. He married the hotter one, but he still has to stare at her ugly sister every time they fuck. I don't know. But do you, do you think she feels it like, do you think both of them feel the pussy pleasure? Equally, yeah. Equally. Got two stars. That, would, yeah. like, that would be my guess. Is there any? Is there a fact of this, Alex? Do we know for a fact? Does anybody? Well, they have out, a pussy. Does they, anybody flat out ask them? Do one of you feel like? Do if you finger them, be like? Do both of you feel this exactly? Equally I'm sure right every now? yes. I'm sure that was the first conversation when. <laughs> so, the, the the man that she married. I don't think this entire time he's been like. I'm just not gonna bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna look into this or. Ask well, if the other him. sister tries to hold her cums in so <laughs> yeah. that I don't feel bad, like she's involved all the time. Uh -huh. What does she have to do? She just plays Switch? With and one arm? Yeah, she can I do guess, it. yeah, while they're fucking. I mean, do you think, is there any, like, jealousy on her end? Is she like, don't put your... I have a feeling they're past those feelings. Neither of them can believe that anyone wants to fuck one or both of them. So they don't speak publicly on, like, their sexual lives? Well, they don't but... speak at all. When they do, it's like... Blah, blah, dee, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. blah, 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 blah. occasionally they pop out of a trash can <laughs> <laughs> and they belch out of poison gas. <laughs> how, about the, how about when the wife's blowing the husband and the other head just has to be up looking at him doing this? Right. Yeah, right. Just her, her head hitting his goes, thigh yeah. over and over again. Just, yeah, it's just, <laughs> just, just calmly going. Smashing going like, into his hip bone. Goes, you enjoying yourself? It's nice. It's supposed to be warm next week. Uh, He's got to sit there and like fucking be annoyed as the one cries about not being able to find love. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. What do you, you want me to fuck you real quick? <laughs> She's got wild. two stomachs like my mother-in-law. <laughs> oh, my God. Bring them up again? <laughs> yeah. Bring them up again? Uh, yeah, so although they don't talk about it, scientists say that if twins share genitals, they will both have sensation there. Okay. Um, They're also I heard, fifth grade I heard, teachers, which is crazy. What scientist? <laughs> She's, uh, can you, I can't imagine being in that class. <laughs> <laughs> they, would, I would, they would have to kick me out of the school. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? How about if the wife wakes up in the middle of the night and Just, sees the sisters? Oh, Nick, you didn't do your homework. Yeah, well, you're a freak. So <laughs> You're a monster freak that's two people. <laughs> so fuck your homework. You shouldn't have to. <laughs> You shouldn't have to sit through that. <laughs> you shouldn't have to make believe that this fucking this seems like a, a fucking creature in a labyrinth. Uh, yeah. Instead of instead of hitting them with spitballs, you try to kill them with an axe. Yeah. <laughs> they should play some sort of a forest instrument. <laughs> that's but they every... found love. Yeah. They... <laughs> and that's what's important. And goddamn, dude, that's got to be just the so worst. Their husband has a child We're from a wet. previous marriage, which is kind of fun. Their their stepmom. Okay. Oh no, okay. their stepmom. I have, okay, I now have it's a, a two-headed stepmom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, aren't you being a little dramatic? What if they wake? <laughs> You're not my real moms. What if she's the, doing uh, a lot for you, even though she's not your real? Oh, she has two heads. Okay, all right. <laughs> what if the wife wakes up one night and the husband's getting jerked off by the sister's arm? Do you get mad or do the sisters like, we both, I think, wanted this? Well, what's up? Hold on. Wait, is it, hold on. Can he ever be next to his wife? I don't, yeah. know, how this, I don't know how this works. I think he's next to his wife on yes, this one. Yes, Louis. Probably. He goes on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. Yo. Come on. <laughs> have, no, have none of us commented on the gigantic. <laughs> no, that was sincere. You weren't like, you were like, wait a minute. <laughs> That might be that might be top three Lewis scissors <laughs> ever. Look at their giant necklace. Look how big that necklace has to be. Oh my god, dude, that's two neck. It's so much necklace. Yeah, yeah. Half of it's just a pull chain from a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have this in a conjoined twins neck? Damn, dude, this guy. That, He's in it for some reason. I always, to, I always predict bad intentions with something like this. I think he's trying to get to whatever treasure they're protecting. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. 
He is wearing a Star Wars shirt. It could have been the first time he had his like sexual awakening was during the Jabba's palace scene. <laughs> Yeah, they play cantina music. Yeah, the first time he got a boner, he was like, uh, what, 10? And he was watching, what is that? What's the third? Is it? Return of the Jedi? That's it, yeah. What a, and it's the scene where they're in the cantina. The rest <laughs> of the joke. <laughs> <laughs> you know, is there whatever. other pictures of them? There, isn't there like a fake video of them sucking dick, or is nice. it real? Yes. <laughs> I swear to God, Alex, there's a video or a, there's a picture of them sucking cock. One of them and the other one looking bored. Damn, it sucks that no conjoined twins ever did porn. It should be out there. I th no, th these girls have a picture that's rumored of them sucking dick. Yeah, but it's fake. I don't know if it's fake. It's got to be. I'd have heard of this. <laughs> this would have come down my pipeline, I feel like. I feel like conjoined, because most of the time conjoined twins, like, usually it's like one of them doesn't live, and then it's just like an arm growing out of their shoulder and fucking like, like an ear. Oh, yeah, just parts. Yeah, there's a couple parts. Like they went through that fly machine. That, yeah, there was that Chinese guy that had a face here, like a tiny face. But it wasn't alive. Sort of was. What, what the Christ was happening? <laughs> <laughs> that was terrifying. They accidentally pu pulled up G Mike's screen. What are you watching over there, G Mike? We Evil found we found a conjoined twins porn. Let's see, is it but real? it wasn't them, and I'm convinced it's not real. Let's, Let's see. see. No, there's a, it's just a straight up picture of them sucking dicks. You see, yeah, find no. out while we watch this. <laughs> Thank you. Not real. Already not real. Not real. <laughs> yeah, pause it. I'll tell you this. There are no hot conjoined no. anything. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that when you're conjoined, that's the beginning of a myriad of problems that are coming along with that, involving different shaped eyes and different parts of the head. Yeah, you think they're conjoined and they also have white cat eyes? I don't think so, Alex. All right, here's the other one. Yeah, see? Oh, what? Yeah, doggy, that shit looks. <laughs> Just real wait, fuck, go dude. back out. New to Twitter. <laughs> 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 Sign up with Apple. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking bat shit. That's and yeah. By the way, the other one too. The one that was just stare down at his fucking thigh. That's weird. Hey, I'm, hey, we're gonna go suck my husband's dick real quick. He had a long day at work. She's like, I want to read. There's a, there's a chance. There's a chance. Also, G Mike, make sure you take off Godfrey's actual email off the screen under the. The Gmail. Okay. It's the much. show's email anyway. Oh, okay. okay, it's fine. Let them. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I mean wait, what is this relevant people thing here? <laughs> oh, <for really>? <laughs> <laughs> relevant people to gay. Is this for you, Gay Mike? No, I don't have a Twitter, so this is sure. This sure, yeah. this is for anybody. Gay, but not your typical one. <laughs> Honestly, I hate all the governments and people equally. So yeah, long live freedom. Dave, this might be your <laughs> dream husband. <laughs> so Dave Smith. Your dream boy might be Dave here. Dave Smith fan. Man, look at her go, sucking that wiener. Doesn't <laughs> look good, but it's probably hard with someone else's head attached to you. <laughs> I don't know I, if I, I, mean, I, I can probably... operate under the pressure constantly and the guilt of like, God, she wishes you could just take a couple of slurps on it, but nope. There, yeah. Can I be honest? This also with you? looks like every AI picture you put in. You're like the president meeting uh, an alien. <laughs> and this is what it gives. <laughs> Maybe this is God trying to create AI, but he didn't get the technology right yet. <laughs> yeah, this is a uh, first first gen. I, I, here's the thing: more than likely, these girls are sluts. They have to be <laughs> right because they're not like. Usually, you meet an ugly bitch. You're like, all right, the, you unless they're dorks. They're sluts. 15 high school kids will fuck you through high school to be like, oh, I don't give a shit. I'll, I'll fuck a girl with two heads. Because that's what you're going to say. You're not going to say it's two people. You're going to say it's one girl with two heads. No, I would. In high school, I'm trying to get my numbers up. I'm like, dude, two more. <laughs> <laughs> one pussy, I'm calling it a oh, two-headed woman. Not two people who share a pussy. That sounds fucking crazy. I feel like I feel bad making fun of these people, but like they put themselves Why? out there publicly. They found long term love. It's their you. fault for being conjoined twins, if you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, feel, I feel bad doing it. But it's them. for being conjoined twins and being public personalities as well. 
I don't think that we have a whole thing with like this TikTok generation where we take freaks and we celebrate them, and that should not be what we do. How out there? Yeah. How out there are they though? Like, it seems like they just have a Facebook account, which doesn't. <laughs> No, I think they're on TikTok. I think uh, they're on Instagram. They went on the Oprah Winfrey show in like 97 it's and like, they had was, a show was, on TLC for years that was like a reality show about them. Well, I'll they're be gonna checking suck that. <laughs> Punching up hurts your shoulders. Punching down super easy. Oh yeah, dude. It's like it's like gliding downhill. Mm -hmm. Easy peasy. <laughs> easy. These girls had a show on the TLC on the Learning Channel. Yeah. Nice. And one's is always sad because she ain't getting dick. Can we see can we see a, a preview of it or just a piece of the show? I would love to watch some of it. Oh, two heads feeling the same cream pie. Can you imagine fucking the freakiness of two heads turning around when you go wrong hole from behind <laughs> and their heads just both turn outwards? Dude, that's like David Bowie dream shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck, you're so mean, dude. Damn, dude, it's like fucking a Beetlejuice something. <laughs> Let's see. I, I do feel really bad. I hope these girls... I'm glad one of them found love. It's fucking looks like HP Lovecraft books. They look like... Uh, yeah, they're, where it is. Here we go. They, they look like... Oh, they're personable and fun. Is it crazy... Oh, I pause, remember. Pause I remember it for a second. Pause it for one second. Is it crazy to say that... Whoa. Oh, God. Whoa. Oh, God, Come on, guys. Come on, guys. That Is was it, on purpose. Does anyone understand what I mean when I say I don't believe one second of their happiness? <laughs> I don't believe them. It's a road trip they're taking. This is a math. They're putting you don't believe that, You don't think that their best day is still their best day? Nope. It's like, I, I believe that guy, guys in prison who are getting fucking into fights and butt fucked, the, a great day in prison is still a great day. Dude, what in old times, we would... In old times, we would have caught them, we would have set them free and hunted them, and the winner is the person who could put an arrow between both of their brains from the side. First of all, they would be an easy hunt. Why, because they keep arguing about which way to go? It looks like it's clear over there. I say it looks like it's clear over there. Yeah, yeah, they keep yeah, 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 pulling yeah, in the split, opposite split, direction, split and staying still. <laughs> We're like two stooges. They could only... Good. ...and want to do it, but she knew she had to do it, so... Oh, she's trying to kill her sister? <laughs> I wish you'd fucking die. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I bet their shits are huge. They're one asshole shitting for two. They have to use, like, gold bond or something on the cheeks, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. They got to talc up for How sure. How many stomachs? Two. Two stomachs. So they both have to eat independently. But then the but shit on goes... Asshole. The one shit goes in one place. Where does... So, how does it connect? So one of them... One of them will... They'll shit and they'll look and they'll be like, pennies. And they'll be like... <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> it's for your birthday. What if one of them? What if one of them has control of the asshole and the other one has to eat and then shit out of her eyeballs? <laughs> Hold on a second. They literally have to eat the birthday presents because you're never going to get a chance to wrap something no. secretly. Nope, you're absolutely if right. If you buy a little like a set of earrings, yeah, right. <laughs> just quickly eat them and then pass. And then it. a week later, they'll shit it out. And it's like, well, Brittany, it's your birthday. I think maybe you should check the toilet today. Abs, thank you. Thank you. You. I didn't even see you eat these earrings. <laughs> It'd be funny if they got like a different like insult first. You're like, yeah, a little gummy for my taste. Is somebody petting them? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> He's pulling her head out of the way for the wedding pictures. Just at a zoo in Woodstock. Family <laughs> <laughs> shorter. Mom had stomach aches after we ate that pizza. But if my stomach hurts, it hurts right here, and I can't feel this. I'm so tired. My name's Abby Hensel. Guys, I'm going to watch the entire season when I get home tonight. <laughs> you, her stomach hurts here, but she can't feel it when she touches there? That's fucking crazy. This is black yeah. magic. Yeah, there's definitely sorcery involved in this curse. They should go on a date on the show uh, that's a guy that's got two bodies and zero heads. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a fun episode. The perfect guy. The Am I right, sis? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the reality show, uh, whatever this is called. That's wild, dude. That does, see, how many seasons of the show is there on the Learning Channel? One season. Just they canceled one. them after yeah. one season. <laughs> oh, my God. You man. know what I watch a lot of is Seven Little Johnsons. That's my new one. 
What is that? that? It's also, that's I think seven, it's on TLC. It's about seven, seven, seven penises. Yeah, seven naked black kids. Yeah, seven, seven very small cocks. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it's shot like Muppet Babies, so you only see <laughs> from the waist down these seven men that live in a house. <laughs> and we never see them. <laughs> no, it's about a midget family. There's, yeah, it's a whole family of them. But it's great because you, 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 there's no regular sized people in the show. So eventually you just forget that they're midgets. Until you see them like climbing a ladder to do dishes and shit. They're doing that the whole show and you yeah. just forget. It becomes, you, you get, you get uh, what's it called? It's like uh, desensitized to it. Yeah. I would, they just, if I was a midget, I would live so midgety. I would have like a constant like conveyor belt of baskets going through that I can jump into to move to other rooms <laughs> and shit. Why not do that now? You have enough money. <laughs> no, the, the strength of that basket I'll never trust. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there seems to be a, fr a freedom in being a midget. You get to fuck midgets. That rules. Yeah, they just go to they just go to those gatherings. L little and they just little go person, for it. by the way. That's the uh, right. No. Yeah, not not the not the M word. They say that on the show. They say the M word, which sounds you think every time I hear it. I'm yeah. like, they're like, well, we were somewhere and we heard the M word and we know it's directed at us. They're white. No. <laughs> There's an episode where they go to an amusement park. They go to Six Flags and a black family, the children in a black family, they go, oh, look at that. Like, you know, they use the M slur. The father confronts the family and he's like, yeah, we heard you using the M word at us. And, and then he goes... There's a word you people don't like. And imagine if we had said that. <laughs> and I don't know how they got it on video, but then, <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. The, the mother's like, thank you for educating us. I can't, I don't understand that interaction at that all. That was an old uh, Artie Lang had that joke. That it was like uh, when a midget said, like, saying the midget's like saying the N-word. He was like, yeah, well, go outside and say each to each. <laughs> yeah, see right. how the results are. Well, that's literally what happens in, yeah. in, in seven. Can you pull up the scene from the show? I'm sure that's no the only thing. No one's afraid of a midget revolution. It's the only no thing one that's clipped from that show. The weakest army doesn't fear it. <laughs> Dude, if my son's mother married a midget, I would have no issues with it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> at all. I'm better at everything. You know Getting what? cereal off the fridge. Enjoy that tiny M word, B. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy that tiny M, B. Have fun with that. I'll be over here being full size. Yeah, you get a mouse in the house that kills him. Instead of now, where her boyfriend's three inches taller than me. Yeah. <laughs> I have to look up at him and be like, hi, how are you today? Yeah. She went 50 shades grayer. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> Don't be an asshole, dude. Happy you're, you're, hey. you're, you ruined that movie for me. Hey, happy birthday. Thanks, bro. Happy birthday, Lewis. Happy birthday, happy Lewis. Birthday, Lewis. Happy birthday, Lewis. Happy birthday, Lewis. Happy birthday. Oh, you know, actually... I do think it's good to buddy. Before we get out of here, we do have a, uh, we have to, we always do cakes for birthdays. We have cakes? We have cakes for birthday. We sent Jake to get a cake. He nailed it so hard. Did he go to time. Milk Bar? What is oh, this Lewis, love. Jake. Yeah. You know, Jake yeah. loves a tiny. Don't say happy birthday. Jake no. loves a tiny. No, happy there's no candles in it. Happy birthday Wait, hang on. to you. Happy birthday. It's not lit. Pretty bad. Why are you guys singing it like Happy birthday like, to you. like monks? How old are you? Now? How old are you now? How old are something? Son? Ah. God damn it, these candles stink. Yeah, happy birthday, Lewis. Blow out your candles, buddy. I um I wish for a bigger cake. Yeah, that is that's pretty bad. What a pathetic fucking piece of shit this is. Let me point this out, Jake. This is the fucking cake you got me, Lewis. There's, if I, if there's... I had a, if I had a billion dollars, I'd eat one of those every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is crazy. We have a whole fucking room full of people here that would love cake. We'll slice it merely small slices. No, we're not going to do that, dude. Now one person in the crowd gets the cake. This guy right here, sir, you win the cake right there. Yeah, all right. That's not very appreciative of your crew. I'm not eating cake. Do you want the cake? Jay wants a Lewis, cake. Give me the Lewis. cake back. Give me the cake back. Hold We're on. taking the cake Jay back. wants a cake. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. Here, Jay. Here. Here's the cake. That's for you now. Lewis. What? You're our boy. It's, our, it's your birthday. It's your what? birthday, Lewis. You it's your birthday, you think we would get you a little fucking rinky-dink cake? You got me a real 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 cake? 
Jake, please bring out the real cake, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. That's so dude. It was April Fool's prank. That was a good prank. They got me. They got me with the prank. Happy birthday. <laughs> He's a fool. That wasn't even on purpose. That wasn't even on purpose. Dude, was another, that was, there better, that was be better, that was better than the prank. I hope there's another that cake Lewis, and there's another prank. Lewis, this is not a prank. That was all we had for you, man. That's no way, dude. There's better be another cake. cake. I want to eat more cake now. I actually want some cake now. Come on, Jake. Happy birthday to you. He's just, is that, by the way... We're going to put Jake on trial. Do we think Jake purposefully dropped the cake to be no, funny? No, there's no way if he knows that. Remember how Harrington, we thought he might have purposely fell through the table to be funny? Oh, yeah. Which I'm still pretty sure he did. I remember that. And Jake and is the new did. Harrington. Yeah, I mean, that's a $60, so $60 something dollar cake. That's the most expensive cake I've ever heard of. <laughs> Jake, what did you do? Did you cry? Where'd you go? Jake, you, you still haven't got like a shit. towel? <laughs> You're so... His, his right hand is still covered in cake. Son it's our first bitch. fucking show in the main room, dude. This is the way it ends? Yep. With my cake being smashed on the floor? That's it, Lewis. Sorry, I need my cake back. Thank you very much. My tiny cake is the only one I have now. Hey, and Lewis. that's an important lesson in life. <laughs> a cake is a cake. Be satisfied Lewis. with it, regardless of the size. Lewis. What? what if I told you? There was another cake. No, there wasn't. Happy birthday to you. No, there's no other cake. To you. <laughs> I'm really sad. I really want another cake. I'm so That's, bummed. I'm so sorry, Lewis. That was it. I, I know there wasn't a cake because I saw the look on Joe's face. <laughs> yeah! Oh, no, 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 no. oh, there is a cake. <laughs> That's another cake. Birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yeah! yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> They've got me twice. They got me. I had no idea. They got me twice. My brand new shoes are ruined, but that's okay. That's it. Blow your candles. That's your actual cake. Those shoes cost as much as the cake. <laughs> Three, Easy. Two, one. Yeah! Happy birthday, Lois. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's cake, New York City, right? Thank you so much, Nick Mullen. Thank you so much, Mike Racine. Thank Watch you. their specials on YouTube. So fucking funny. Thanks for being a part of our first show downstairs. We love you guys. We're here every, every Monday night. Come to the stand. We have amazing guests every single week. So get your tickets in advance because we've been selling out every week for months now. So get them at thestandnyc.com, and we tape every Monday, live premiere every Tuesday night. Thank you. You've been listening to the Legion of Skanks podcast with Big J Okerson. Did you suck it? I think I would instinctually suck it. Thick with three C's. <laughs> you must be fucking over, Lewis. Lewis Gomez. Lewis J. Gomez, you motherfucker. <clears throat> Was Jay Gomez. You ever try to watch a retard draw swastika? It's hilarious. I'm sort of known as a point guard of podcasting. Being a fat gay guy is so fucking awesome. And comedian Dave Smith. You fucking godless, soulless sodomites. It's the fucking best joke I've ever heard in my life. It was eight inches. The Legion of Skanks podcast. 